move to the less You move slow when I move fast And that's facts Only I can make a change Slowly take a step today I will never be the same Cause that's what it takes Playing got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet. Lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rice in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last. Yes, yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back. I'm never gonna look back. Cause damn, I was built to last. You move slow when I move fast. And that's facts. Only I can make a change. Slowly take a step today. I will never be the same. Cause that's what it takes. Creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving I could take this crap from seeing to believing Got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding From the words I spit, so sharp, so freezing So cold, behold, frostbite, they feel I could tear you apart or I could go heal them Don't believe in fate, don't believe in ceilings I just need a taste and my mind starts peeling I don't pace myself, I grind on kneeling Got lust for change, I just love the feeling uh. I ain't gonna give up Got too little time, I'ma live up Head down, push forward through the tough times Cause anything worth doing is a tough climb and I ain't gonna give up Got too little time, I'ma live up Head down, push forward through the tough times Does anything worth doing is a tough Cause time. I'ma live life for the fight Yeah, I'm here to get it I got drive, got sight Always have a vision I go by at night I be in my feelings I'ma be fine, need time And I'll soon be winning I live life for the fight Yeah, I'm here to get it I got drive, got sight Always have a vision I go by at night I be in my feelings I'ma be fine, need I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon
Bak bak, I feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing. Take me for granted, and you know I'm leaving. I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving. I could take this crap from seeing to believing. Got a taste for blood, and my tongue keeps bleeding from the words I spit. So sharp, so freezing, so cold. Behold, frost. Despite they feeling, I could tear you apart or I could go heal them. Don't believe in faith, don't believe in ceilings. I just need a taste and my mind starts peeling. I don't pace myself, I grind on kneeling. Got lust for change, I just love the feeling. No. I ain't gonna give up. Got too little time, I'ma live up. Head down, push forward through the tough times. Cause anything worth doing is a tough climb. I'ma be fine, need time, and I'll soon be winning. I live life for the fight, yeah, I'm here to get it. I got drive, got sight, always have a vision. I go by at night, I'll be in my feelings. I'ma be fine, need time, and I'll soon be winning. I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they want to go eat, then you know I'm going to feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight. I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing. Take me for granted, and you know I'm leaving. I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving. I could take this crap from seeing to believing. Got a taste for blood, and my tongue keeps bleeding from the words I spit. So sharp, so freezing, so cold. Behold, frost. I they feeling I could tear you apart or I could go heal them. Don't believe in faith, don't believe in ceilings. I just need a taste and my mind starts peeling. I don't pace myself, I grind on kneeling. Got lust for change, I just love the feeling. No. I ain't gonna give up. Got too little time, I'ma live up. Head down, push forward through the tough times. Cause anything worth doing is a tough climb. I'ma be fine, need time, and I'll soon be winning. I live life for the fight, yeah, I'm here to get it. I got drive, got sight, always have a vision. I go by at night, I'll be in my feelings. I'ma be fine, need time, and I'll soon be winning. I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight. I, I, I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they want to go eat, then you know I'm going to feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing. Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving. I'm going to take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving. I could take this crap from seeing to believing. Got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding from the words I spit. So sharp, so freezing, so cold. Behold, frostbite, they feeling. I could tear you apart or I could go heal them. Don't believe me.
Yes, people, welcome back to Chelsea Perspective. Welcome back to another transfer show on Chelsea Perspective. Today, we will handle a mashup of match review and then discuss some emerging developments regarding players that we're interested in. Again, uh, uh, finally, finally, the Goodison Park hoodoo has been uh, broken. I hope uh, it continues like that. Again, quite a lot, quite a lot to talk about. And I see that... Uh, Already a lot of people in the chat waiting for the show to get started. So sit back, relax, and let's get into the show. Yes, people, welcome back. Again, once more, welcome back uh, to the Transfer Watch Show on Chelsea Perspective and the Match Review. Again, a good morning, a good afternoon, and good evening, but more importantly, Blue Morning, because it is, in fact, the Blue Morning Show. And already I have my brother and the legendary, uh, legendary IBZ uh, on the studio with me, in the studio with me already. So I want to say welcome, IBZ. How are you doing, bro? How are you doing, brother? I hope you're good, man. Okay, right. mm, I, I can't complain. I can't complain. It's a happy day. Uh, again, I wasn't confident. I was nervous given our record for the past five years. We haven't won a single game for the past five years at Goodison Park. So that's a good start to the season, even though we didn't play well. Uh, but um, you could argue the sign of uh, the hallmark of, of you know of, of champions is, is to grind out results even when you can, when you don't play well. So, But that's by the way. I'm going to catch up with those in the chat come back to you and ask you what you think about the game. Things you think, you know, as we still do need to take care of because uh, they were there for us to see if you, if anybody paid attention, they'd see there are still quite a lot that we must address uh, to do well this uh, this new season. Uh, from the very top, there's quite a lot already. I will try and I'll speak, uh, skip a few. Uh, good morning to you too, uh, Leon Lane. I hope you're doing well. Uh, nice to see you there, brother. Um, Says, I don't mind saying when I saw TT replacing Chelwa with RSC, I thought he had a loss at the plot, but he knew Kulubali wouldn't finish the game. So that's why he kept a Kukurela, a Kukurela to replace him. A TT knows best. Again, he knows his, uh, some would say he knows his onion, uh, but he knows the, the job very well. He's a tactical, that is a, a great tactical mind. Uh, hi, Coach and Parnell. Hope you're all doing it fine. Uh, after that horrendous uh, performance, I wouldn't go to the extent of calling it uh, horrendous. There were some obvious reasons why they performed like that, and it's the first game of the season. The most, the part, the most that is uh, the most pronounced positive thing to take out of that game is that we won it, and that that's not easy. After my United, we are the only team to have won 20 opening games. We won at Goodison Park after 16 and 17, but all in. in but but all on it all in all, we still played some of the worst football. The most important thing is that we won the game. Mount and Kai were horrendous. I don't understand why Kai wasn't sub, uh, substituted at halftime. Kai has been a dreadful. Uh, Kai is known to be a, a, a slow starter. Usually, he comes into you know his, his own during mid-season. Mid -season, uh, mid -season. I hope that changes. Or, or let me say about ten games into the season. Uh, but that's not okay. Uh, he says, I don't understand what Kai was done, has done in the, past two, in the past two games to warrant a starting position. And so many corners are wasted like, like it's their first time taking corners. I think even Tito himself was frustrated that he started ta talking to Anto Anthony Barry, who I think is usually responsive, uh, responsible for you know, training the players on how to make the most of corner kicks. Uh, but I don't know. Again, I'll skip to the very bottom, bring in the panelists. Uh, and then let me see if there's anybody here I haven't said hello to. Uh, I haven't said hello to a uh, phantom of many topics. I'll bring, in you, I'll bring you in into the studio in a bit. Just hold on a bit, brother. He says, if Chelsea buys a Mitrovic, of course, 
I come off loan immediately and return to Chelsea. Uh, again, uh, Chelsea tried yesterday. They lack a finish in the CFC and one sharp striker, another midfielder and defender. Uh, uh, thank you, uh, Lukman Bakari from Lagos, Nigeria. Thank you, my Niger brother. I appreciate you finding time to join uh, us and, and saying where you are from. That makes me happy because I'm, 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 I'm born and bred Niger man. So that makes me happy to see my brothers here. Uh, again, say so big up, guys. I'm still concerned after watching all those, uh, you know, set piece uh, go at waste. Uh, Chelsea need Mitrovic, a form of, of striker. Kai cannot do the, the Broya. Uh, 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 cannot do that. Broya was massive. Uh, again, uh, I'm gonna scroll to the very bottom, and if I miss uh, saying hello to you, apologies. I'll try to do that again as as the show progresses. Sir, uh, I want to say thank you to Phantom also to uh, for finding time to join us here. Yeah, that's not easy. So let's uh, start talking about the show immediately. If you ask me, um, just give me a second. I'm sharing the wrong screen here. I'm going to do this one uh, to share this particular screen here. I think it's screen th three. I hope I'm correct. Yep. Allow. And I want to bring up this guy here. Just one second, people. All right. IBC, I'm going to come to you immediately, brother. You tell me after watching that game, you know, again, I wasn't a, the worst. Uh, again, it was a professional display, and it seemed as if we knew that we were in that ra uh, ready, and uh, we, we knew, I think you could say, the our record at Goodison Park played at the back of the head of the players, back of the mind of the players, uh, because we seemed to be, you know, slowing down the game, hoping that it ends as soon as possible. We were, it doesn't look like we were confident we were going to win it. But that's, uh, by the way, overall, IBZ, what are your observations in any, some, any, so do, do you, did you still observe any serious concerns? Yeah, uh, just the concern I was raising, isn't it? Um, contrast creation and a, and a, and a striker. Um, it, we were, it was, um, it was nerve wracking a little bit um, because we, I couldn't see any way we could create chances. Um, Havertz up front is not the one. Um, we've been speaking about this all summer. We need a striker. When Amanda Broja came on, there was shape. As soon as he came on, there was shape. Not to say that he played the focal point because he drifted out left, but there was a more of a shape. Maybe because he knows how to do that number nine positioning, number nine runs very well. Havertz had, Havertz had a chance in the first half um, if you have an instinct of a striker, you're either passing that into the person in the box or you're, you're wiping that. It took too long before Godfrey came in and injured himself. It is what it is. Um, we're just lacking. And it was a professional job, like you say, um, in just to get the results done. God, thank God for Chilwa making that burst into the box. I thought he was going to lick it where he just got fouled, which was a dumb tackle by De Corre. Um <clears throat> So we got the professional job done. I wasn't convinced at all. Um, defensively, um, Chilwell didn't look fit. We argued that he wasn't going to be fit enough. I was surprised he started, but it just got to show Alonso was no more going to feature again. Hence why he started and Kukurea came on to stood, which he looked absolutely, um, he fit in perfectly. Um, no worries at all with Kukurea. Kulibali, the pace of the, the league got to him. He was absolutely brilliant. Um, he's his key headers, he had key interceptions. Um, so um, I wasn't worried about that. It was just our chance creation. Um, Mount, uh, I won't really necessarily blame Mount. It's Kai, it's, it's Kai Sterling bowled out. Um, Tante was a little bit, Reese James was a little bit. Mm. Reese James and Kai kind of didn't really uh, give me anything to, to, to be positive about. Um, but again, we did the professional job. It's very hard to take a, a lot away from this match because it's the first game of the season and we still need to make more transitions in terms of players coming in. But from what I saw, it, saw, it, it, looked, it looked positive a little bit, um, a little bit, not a lot. For the majority of the time, it was like, what are we, how are we going to get this thing done? But for, 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 for what it is, three points, we move. Um, I am. I am. I am more worried now against Everton. I don't. I hope we will be able to 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 create chances. But we. Um, sorry, against Tottenham. But um, I don't. I. I'm not really. 
I'm not really convinced as of yet. But yeah, first game of the season, fitness levels yeah. and what have you. Um, but we'll see what happens. Again, Kai Havertz, not the striker. Um, I will start Amanda Broha ahead of Kai Havertz moving on forward. The guy, he makes the runs. He There, there was actually a shape when he came on. It was, even though we had scored by then, but there was actually a shape. Um, we could say, okay, yeah, he can, you can feed off him and what have you. Um, so maybe putting Havertz behind the striker, not playing as a striker, um, will be will be beneficial again moving forward. But yeah, yeah, good, we'll, good win mm-hmm. and three points on the board. Yeah, good good win. Like I said, there are a few positives, and, and the most pronounced of all is the fact that we won at Goodison Park. That hasn't happened for five years. And it was a professional performance of the, uh, uh, overall. Uh, we lacked a cohesion uh, to a worrying measure. Um, uh, ben Chilwell was awful. Uh, probably is this maybe the manager. He, he, I, I think he talked about how he was able to convince the manager that he was ready to start. I think overall it was just that, that you could say, I, I would say, if I say that, maybe it's sentiment actually if that was the case. The manager just, uh, you know, uh, you know, playing and starting him because he's been there throughout the preseason and Cucurella yeah. just joined. Uh, because yeah. when Cucurella, he, he was introduced, he was a, a breath of fresh air. Again, the positives include uh, Akulubali's performance, Thiago Silva's performance, uh, N'Golo Kante to a certain measure, uh, what's his name also, Raheem Stalin. But the fact remains from what we saw yesterday, even Raheem Stalin will struggle if we do not do something about the midfield because there were occasions where he made some decisive runs and then Jorginho, as usual, taunts. As much as I love yeah. Jorginho, he frustrated the life out of yeah. me yesterday. I was oh, like, God. you know what? I'm hopping on the bus of Jorginho out. <laughs> After all, he has just one year left on his contract. Raheem Salim will make the run and looked up. He still turns around, goes to the right, and you can see Raheem going like this, you know. But again, it's it's there's still time, and I know the manager understands that. He even yeah. talked about it a bit even before during during uh before uh um that that was it called the Friday press conference, something about the midfield, you know, something like that. But though he's not making it a priority. But if you paid attention to everything he said, I think he's looking for midfielders, but maybe they haven't seen the profile of midfielders they want. I'm going to catch up with the chat and I'll come back in, bring in all the panelists who are already are here with us. Uh, we have 80 people watching and already we have 23 likes. At least if you haven't, take a second to like the video and also do uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thank you. Thank you very much. We can reach a 300 today, 300 likes today like we did the other day, but it's up to you with your support. We can get there. Uh, Prince uh, uh, Mohab says, oh, big up, guys, I'm so concerned. After watching all those set pieces, I think I've read that one too. Uh, a phantom is already on the panel. I'm not going to be going uh, dealing with two phantoms here, one in the chat and one on the panel. Uh, again, it says, uh, uh, let me see what else do we have here. Um, you guys are confusing me now, phantom. Again, uh, sorry, my screen is a bit slow and I don't know how to deal with that. A big up to the panel and the chat. Chelsea, all the way, big up to you too. Again, no matter how we see it, congratulations to us. We won at Goodison Park and that rarely happens. Hasn't happened for the past uh, five years. Was cover feet uh, to play yesterday. I'm not sure. I'm going to highlight this because I want us to address it. I don't think uh, he, he was he's, uh, he's currently fit. Maybe he's dealing with some knock or something. Because if his feet, he would have made a huge different uh, difference that yesterday. Um, here we have again. Let me see anything to address there. Okay, that's just the robot uh, talking to those in the chat. No way he knew Kulavali wouldn't finish the game, or he would have uh, simply uh, subbed him off uh, from the start. Liam gave uh, took uh, too much credit. I-, I wouldn't say he gave him too much credit. He was working with what he has. It's as simple as that. Remember, I would. Again, uh, I don't want to go into that argument. But hopefully, you understand my point there. Cucurella's corner was decent. You know, a home to see, hoping to see more. I hope so too. Again, um, the Undertaker CFC says Kai and Mount are the worst players for Chelsea. Uh, again, I, I wouldn't start judging them. It, uh, let, let's hope it's a one-off thing. And then in subsequent games, if we see a, re- a repeat of what we saw yesterday from Kai, in uh and Mason Mount, then I'd be concerned. I wouldn't be concerned. Now these things do happen, uh, you know, for most of players. Uh, if you, if it is the first game of the season, I don't get why Reece James is taking our corner kicks 
when uh, Mason Mount got got the bulk of his assist from corners. Also, Jorginho in the box attacking our, our corners when he cannot hit the ball. Uh, again, if you argue with some people, they argue they want they don't want him to be the last man waiting. Uh, you know waiting outside the box because of the mistake he made against Manchester United. So it's everywhere anyway. So, it, yeah, him being on the box, that's, he could get you a goal too. But that's, by the way, again, I'm going to say hello to all this. I'm going to say hello uh, to my brother, the Added Time Podcast. Again, uh, he has his own YouTube channel. If you haven't, take a second to go check it out and subscribe. Do let him know I sent you. Uh, uh, Githonga Davis said James thought he was getting subbed off at some point. Maybe he knew. They could have done a better possibly. It looks uh, they, some of them doesn't look like they're fully fit as, as of yet. Hi all, at least it's a win. The most important thing. Uh Chris uh CMC, nice to see you, brother. I hope you're doing well. Again, I, I'm have I'm gonna have to scroll uh skip quite a few. If I keep reading, that's all we'll do for the whole day and not do any other thing. Again, 95 people watching and 24 likes. And please, if you haven't, take a second to like the video to help us reach more people. Uh, again, and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So I'm coming back uh, to the panel. I'm going to go as uh, follow the list as everybody arrived. So again, uh, to be respectful to those that are right first, uh, I'm going to come to you, uh, Phantom, your thoughts on, uh, I, I'll get a chance, you know, to give you time to talk about Forham. It was a good performance from them. You can argue that they, you know, they, they should have won. I'll, I'll work it in, in, in the Chelsea, uh, uh, from a Chelsea perspective. I'll work everything in. <laughs> okay, so. Um, but uh, yes, that is the question, of course. The question I want to yeah. ask you overall, what do you think of the, uh, of the performance? And again, your, your observations. Okay, so. Uh, did we lose Chelsea, them or is it my fault? Uh, it's okay. I, 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 can, I can adapt. Okay, so Chelsea, I think um, I was wrong about Cucurella. This guy is worth the 60 million. My gods, he came up and he just, wow, just uh, just wow. The, the fluidity of this guy, the, the control, the ball control, the, the corner kick, the beautiful uh, linking. In, uh, intelligence overall. Just, uh, he's, he, he and Sterling are going to figure out a way to link up. That's because they don't know each other. They had this is the first time they met, so so they missed that one, and it's okay because they're, they're going to figure out a way to link. But wow, mm -hmm. this uh, this uh, I don't think Ben Chilwell is getting his job back. Put it that way, and um, so I'm I'm not worried about Kai Havertz or whatever. That'll work itself out. Kai Havertz is a second half player, anyways. He needs time to warm up, and that, that's what he does every year. So I'm not worried worried about that. Um, the Kabali thing's pretty solid back there, although when he had to stretch a little bit, I got a little bit nervous. But uh, so again, okay, so I'll work this in into the striker. If we're seeking one more striker, um, you know, maybe we give Broha a chance during these uh, months until the January transfer window. And if Broha does not work out, then, you know, you can always just go two, sub, two, uh, two train stops down the uh, street and pick up... Uh, you know who for fifty million dollars because he'll be scoring twelve to fifteen goals by that point, and that will get everybody's attention in the Premier League. Um, you know, I mean, Trent Alexander Arnold could not stop him from getting that uh, header goal, and um, when uh, Van Dijk um, stopped him, uh, he and, and did that penalty thing. That thing was going to go in for a goal, so Van Dijk did the the only thing he could, which is fat, is which is create the penalty. And at least give uh, Allison Becker a chance. But this guy is the real deal. He scored 43 goals, 43 goals in the English Championship. He scored two goals today. And right now he is the golden boot in the English Premier League. And that is a fact. <laughs> oh, so you, you, you're still in the past. You, you haven't moved on from that win. No, no oh, I'm sorry. I don't understand the question. No, you say he scored two goals today. So you're still in the past. You're still, rev oh. you, you know, enjoying. Oh. Well, in the past, he scored 43 goals in the. No, I'm saying you said he scored two goals today. He did. Is this? He, he did score okay. two goals today. I mean, that's that's factual. And and right yeah. now, no one else in the English Premier League today has scored two goals. Therefore, he is right now leading for the Golden Boot. The the ESPN commentator made a. Uh, 
made a joke about Mitrovic, and he said, you know what, he's on he's on pace to score 76 goals, and uh, if he keeps this up, then the big teams will notice. Uh, if they're not going to pick him up by September, they will look at him at the January transfer window if he has 12 to 15 goals. I mean, that's just reality. So if you're yep. looking for a number, that, mm. that, that's a person who will wear the number nine if he comes to Chelsea. He won't be afraid to put on that number nine shirt because he's wearing the number nine at, at a team like Fulham. And I, I mean, if you saw that game, uh, Trent Alexander, uh, Arnold and um, Van Dyke could not stop this guy. This is Premier League quality. I know last time Fulham, two years ago when he came up, he was kind of injured. So this is a completely different player. If you, if you look at them, they're going to – I know Manchester United and, and other big clubs are going to send scouts to go watch this guy, you know, to, to, to see if he's worth picking up in the January transfer. Right. And, doing, and his price is only going to be about 50 million uh, quid. So that's not uh, – that is definitely affordable and within Todd Bowley's, um, you know, value sabermetric calculus and everything else. I think he would be the perfect guy and he would not – you know, moving from Fulham to Chelsea is only two subway it's stops over. Shot. It's not a big deal for anybody. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, it, it's a good start. So thank you very much for that uh, contribution. Again, if you're watching, we still have just uh, 32 likes and 86 people watching. Please take a second to like the video and also do subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, Bobby, I'm going to come to you. Uh, your thoughts, you know, you watch uh, the game, I'm sure, quite well. I'm sure you're here to talk about something you observed. Let's get your... What happened? I don't know. He's gone quiet. Oh, I thought it was my. Uh, I, I thought. I thought. Oh. I, I thought my connection. No, I, I think he's frozen, but I think okay. the audience can still hear us. Okay. Uh, let's ask the Bobby. panel. Hey, panel, can you hear us? Yeah, I can. I can yeah, hear everyone. Can hear okay. the panel. And What's the, sorry, you, coach. No, I mean, can the uh, chat hear us? Can oh. if you can hear us in the chat, please let us know. Coach, are you alive? Okay, hey, Bobby, so just before coach comes back, sorry, Bobby. I've, 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 yes, I've, everybody's I've, saying yes. Uh, so, so only uh, Chelsea perspective, only Coachella is frozen. We we are all they can all hear us loud and clear, so we can just carry on the show for for them. Uh, Wait, okay, let me well, just get in there. He'll, he'll come back. He'll come back. Yeah, he'll. Okay, he'll so let's just back. take this rare opportunity, Bobby. What did you think of my uh, Alexander Mitrovic today? What did I you think? Agree with you. I yeah. totally agree with you. I, I've mm -hmm. always liked Alexander Mitrovic. I mm -hmm. wish you'd start you off. posting so, it on so, Twitter. Sorry, sorry to cut you off, Bobby. Bobby, just to let me get... Did you call TalkSport yesterday? No, no, it wasn't me. I'm not the only <laughs> Robert in the world. Robert is a very popular name. It sounded um, like you like you, know, you know, phone-ins is my thing. Coming on platforms is my thing, but I didn't call you. <laughs> I was like, hang on, I know that voice. Yeah, AB is just correct. Like Rob. So I was like, Bobby. <laughs> no, not this time. Not this time. Fair but play. Yeah, How are you doing? Uh, Hope you're all right. I, I think you're really correct. I, I've always liked Alexandra Mitrovic. I want you to start posting that on Twitter because uh -huh. our Chelsea guys are watching, uh, or they do sometimes check in to see yeah. what the fans are saying. That guy is very, very good for Chelsea. He's just what Chelsea needs. He's yeah. not going to come at stupid money. And I wouldn't even wait till January. I, I think they should go for him now. That's, I would come, you know, I, I would come off the loan so quickly. I would be on the same same bus coming from uh, Craven Cottage over to Stamford Bridge. Oh, actually, we both it's, we it, all know it, that's not going to happen, though. It, it, it's it's, it's only two train stops. It's only a two train stop difference, right? From from uh, from Putney Green over to uh, to Stamford Bridge. It's two train stops, huh? Yeah. Or you Sorry. can jump on a bus. You can jump on a two twenty bus. <laughs> oh yeah, yes, a, a two twenty yeah. bus, a two ninety five uh, bus will will do it too, right? We'll do it too. <laughs> yeah, a two ninety five. Uh, what else? Uh, what was the other bus? Yeah, two twenty is. Uh, um, bus. Yeah. yeah Bobby, what did you make of the direction? It's Acton, but if you go the other direction, I don't know what two twenty is called. Is that called Clapton Junction, Clapham Junction, or is that two ninety five? 
yeah, from John yeah. King. Up from 295 John. to John King. Yeah, that's a 295 bus. But either way, that will take you over to Stanford Bridge. And, you know, I'm, I'm just so excited that Mitrovic is doing well because I really want to come home to Chelsea. I really do. You know, yeah. I, I just have to have a reason. I have just give me a reason to come home to Chelsea <laughs> and I will. <laughs> we can appreciate we can appreciate that um, uh -huh. be of, of use to Fulham. And, you know, he'll be a good breath of fresh air of what Fulham need especially the same cohesion that they had last season. Mm -hmm. He smashed the records. Um, yeah. But uh -huh. to have Chelsea go for Mitrovic, I, I, I'll just stick that to your wish list. Like me wanting Benjamin Sesko, it's like you want Mitrovic to Chelsea. Yeah. That's not going to happen. You, you know, know I, 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 think it, I think it might happen at the January transfer. Uh, window. I, I don't think that will happen as well. Uh -huh. it, it, I don't think that will happen as well. I'll, like, okay. it, it, it's out. It sounds nice. It, 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 it ticks the boxes. I know what you're saying, but Fulham will not sell a priced asset in, in Mitrovic, even if, and if we were going to buy him, they'll probably demand high, in which we are not going to go do. I mean, his age, his, his, he has the quality, but you know, I, uh, I don't know. They took Corvalho for like five million to, uh, to, to, to yeah, Liverpool. But, yeah, but that's not, that's not necessarily a rival, is it? It's, I mean, yeah. selling Chelsea to Fulham. I mean, come on, they're talking but, about their top goal scorer. You know, I mean, under, come on. That's taking not, the mick in all sorts. You, you know what's underrated at Fulham? Uh, the, Who? The Dover Reed. Yeah, uh, Dominic the, Carver Reed. Oh, he played well. Like, he did, he, I didn't really feel convinced when he was at Cardiff. He got relegated. He did okay. Yeah. He did okay. Then obviously Fulham. He did. He did his thing. But now he seems like he's ready for it. I think they're all ready for it. I think they all played well but yesterday. Be, the cohesion was clearly there. They actually play really nice. Even oh, 100 percent. They didn't give Liverpool the respect. <laughs> they don't. I think that's what it was. They didn't. <laughs> they didn't give Liverpool the respect, and I think Liverpool were rattled by that, and they didn't know how to handle uh -huh. it. They were choked down, and it was really good. I like their <laughs> midfield. That um, guy on the right, the Congo, or something like that. He was yeah. absolutely trying to whip those balls in. Getting into Mitrovic. Mitrovic. Oh, Cabano? Is, is, is it weird? Cabano? Or is yeah, Cabano. Cabano, number yeah. seven. Yeah, he, he, uh, he's him. a very good winger. Uh, uh, I him. He, he was he was doing yeah. well. I was so, I was really, really surprised with Tosun Adarabioyo. Yeah, Tosun he was, was really, good too. Ooh. He was really, really, really good. And his way he came out of his defense and came to try to play the defense, like play the ball, it was really encouraging. I think Marco Silva's builders got him here. But yeah. hopefully. Hey, um, mm. what's it called, Bobby? What did you think of the game yesterday? What did you take on it? What Chelsea or Fulham? Aye, Chelsea. The boys. Are we <laughs> no. What did you, yeah, what did you um, think of it? First of all, before I I answer that, you know, if there's one thing I've learned in football is not to talk in absolutes. If okay. Chelsea do have an interest in Mitrovic, you never say never. You I know, understand. If a club like Chelsea come calling. And his head is turned. You'd be surprised how much that um, I, impossibility I that. can become a reality. Um, I but you know that aside, um, I was trying to, to. I don't know where our host is. You know, there's there so is. much. Oh, we don't right need. Now? We don't. We are the host. Coach is not the host. But yeah, and, and this is called quick. This is called by the way. Cottage morning. Yeah. I'm busy. Go <laughs> ahead, bro. Go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, I was just going to say... That's, you know, by the way, Bobby, if we could just have you, please. That's by the way. Thank you, Bobby. Yeah. yeah. I, I was just going to say that there, there's so much to unpick from yesterday. Um, first of all, the good thing is that we got a win. But, yeah. you know, there, there's a lot there. There's a lot there. I have a lot of questions. There are more questions than answers. First mm. of all, why are our players who have had as much pre-season as everybody else in such bad condition. Okay. Um, James, Mount, okay. Havertz, um, you know, you name it. Their conditioning is bad for people that have played a full pre-season. Chilwell, we know he was injured and he's still coming back. Uh, Koulibaly has just arrived and he is an old man, as is... Um, 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 uh, Thiago Silva and yeah. yesterday just gave an exact example as to why Chelsea must, and I underline must, get Wesley Fofana you know, okay. one, the age, two the mobility, three, the ability and four, the longevity <laughs> it is an investment <laughs> forget the price it's going to be expensive, people are going to be raising eyebrows, but that initial expense is balanced out over the years. There were even questions to Tuchel. 
Now, I d defend Thomas Tuchel terribly. I mean, I've gone to war for him against many fans. But he has to answer some questions. And why these questions are posed to him, it's not anti-Thomas Tuchel, is that, look, mate, you can't keep doing the same things from last season. Why are you mm. saying, number one, your midfield doesn't need an upgrade? <coughs> that midfield is, is, is <coughs> diabolical. It needs technical ability. It needs physicality. It needs support for the forwards and it needs cover for the defenders. That's what is missing. Now, I know all this is uncovered under the multitude of the fact that we are still in pre-season, more or less. But, you know, th there are cracks that we need to cover. You know, we 100%. do need people coming in. And yeah. Tuchel is making some, some, some very worrying moves. Look at the mm. back. Yes, Cucurella was exceptional, and he is exceptional. But he shouldn't have played. Where is Emerson? <coughs> Why does he not know how to use Emerson? Then going forward, um, uh, he brings on Brogia and quite rightly, Orgs put out something from some Chelsea journalists, which I thought was 100% correct. You're playing Brogia on the right with um, Sterling down the middle when we needed the physicality of Brogia, who is a, a, a striker, down the middle with Sterling out on the right. I mean, that is just... that. That is not rocket science. I, I think Bobby. Yeah, yeah uh, no, to, on that one, Bobby, on that one, yeah, Bobby. I, I, I saw that, but I think what it was, it was a bit of a hybrid. They did interchange at some points of the game. There was parts when Sterling was out wide, Broha came through the middle, but obviously it was just the service not going through. But I know what you're saying. It did, they, there, was a, there was a point where you saw Sterling in the middle, Broha out right or out, out left even, and uh, obviously Pulisic out right, um, even um, in between as well. So. Yeah, I hear what you're saying on that I one. For the legs, I think it was really for the legs because uh, Everton were attacking so much on the wing and Sterling maybe is now, again, it's a problem of match fitness. Maybe because Broja was still fresh, so he could... Maybe, maybe he could infiltrate rock. on yeah, that that's... side. Yeah, yeah, because Broja can play, he can play like an inside forward from the left coming in. So maybe that's why he was just experimenting. Yeah, but it, well, well, Bobby, it doesn't make sense. It, does, it doesn't make sense, but I think this... That's us coming up with justification, but it in in, in when you put in factual term, it doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> like, mm -mm, what would you mm -mm. do? Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, but, I yeah, looked at it, that as well. Bobby's right. I looked at that as well. Like, mate, even my mate called me and like, look, what's your manager doing? I said, oh, maybe he's just experimenting. You know, like his first well, game of the season. The time for experimenting was pre-season, so that ship has sailed. You know, you know, I know it's early doors and there's much to do, but. I'm disappointed, as I've said, in conditioning. Rhys yes. James, out of condition. He had a full pre-season with us. You know, I don't know. Now we've got all these Spurs fans circle jerking, waiting for the game against Chelsea, rubbing their hands. Because they do look better than us. And they look like a, a more uh, cohesive outfit. Yes, uh, they've, they've had their <laughs> signings in early yada 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 that's that's acceptable but i don't accept the conditioning i don't because these players have had as much pre-season as everybody else and the condition they're showing is poor very very poor it was disturbing yeah. i mean mason mount was diabolical let's just have it right and tell the truth you know he was awful awful um, and yeah, I, I, I busy. Please go ahead. Go ahead. You're doing well. Let me try and sort out what the no issue is. No problem. I got you, my bro. No problem. Yeah. So you know, Coburn's got to be a very busy place next week, uh, both on the training field and um, and in the uh, transfer market. We we have a lot to do. Um, no I don't know. You know, we bought this Chukameka guy. Um, you know, he seems good. But I think next week he's got to train with the team because he's got to be somebody that's going to give us something different in midfield. Yeah, um, uh, honestly, Jorginho, you know, I, I'm tired now. I'm almost, I'm, I'm done. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm quite. Done with me. For us. You know, I'm over it. I really am. You know, we, we, if it's true that we are interested in um, the young. 
you know, someone needs to go talk to that guy. You know, we need something fresh. We do. Uh, you know, Georgie, oh God, really? You know, uh, we can't do this next season again. You know, this 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 languid, uh, uh, slow. He 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 kills the uh, the attacks, and he doesn't stifle or protect the defense. So then, what is he doing there? Yeah, Howard's got, Howard's got a lot of credit from the uh, UCL championship, but that's starting to wear thin now. It's kind of like uh, he, I, I, I would start uh, Brogia next week and give Brogia a chance to get a full game in and see what he does against uh, Tottenham. And it's indeed good. Gallagher. The, the game is going to be over in North London, right? Is that where the uh, game is? He's at home. No, I, is that that's the bridge? bridge. Is that bridge? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Gallagher, so Gallagher should start because could he be worse than than, than when, he ca when he came on, yeah? When he came on, yeah, he actually gave a little bit of doggish behaviour in terms of winning it. Something yeah. that Gordon was, Gordon was doing up and down. I could have. I, I was so annoyed with that guy. That guy is winning everything. He's chasing down everything. Also, you know, Mount will be doing that, isn't that um, what Mount usually does? <laughs> but having Conor Conor Callagher come on, you saw a little bit of that. Um, even though he was at the dying members of the game, but you saw a little bit of what he could bring. So again, we have quite a few players in that midfield. So first game, Tottenham um, Tuchel must be just rotating it around, seeing how you know how it all fits. He's gonna go with what he trusts to start well, with. Who do you want? Yeah. Who do you want in the false nine spot next week? No false nine striker, uh, Bro Amanda Broha. That's it. Un unless we get someone in before next week, which I doubt it will happen. I think we, we do. So we just got traditional ready. striker with Broha. Yes, 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 yes. You could you could see you could see from uh, I was a dis. I watch I watch all games yesterday. I I watch I watch every, every I watch, I try to watch. And the games are playing at three o'clock, so I try to watch at least twenty minutes of each game. I have to say, we were the worst. Uh, we were the worst team uh, in terms of in terms of us and Nottingham Forest were the worst team I've watched uh, yesterday, and that's to, that is something. No, I, I, actually, to to be fair, you know, the way Lampard is getting Everton to play is it, it wasn't. No, 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 yeah. no, no. No, no, I have to counter that because I have to counter that because what I saw was I saw that what Everton were trying to do was actually positive. It was just unfortunate. He doesn't have what we didn't have in terms of the focal point in Calvert-Lewin. I believe if they had Calvert-Lewin, the game would have been totally different. Have it you and Bobby are actually saying the same thing. Okay, sorry. I do apologise, Bobby. I do apologise. Sorry, I thought, I thought he said that he, he did. I thought well, I was a bit... You know, playing five at the back, which mm. effectively is what he was doing, and looking for a fast break, which really wasn't happening. They were disjointed as well. You know, uh, you have to say, OK, they had their they reasons the and, and the injuries didn't help. Um, but we have our reasons um, for playing the way we did. And, um, you know, uh, our, our uh, lack, of, lack of playing personnel didn't help. Uh, but however, having said that, it is, and I keep saying it, it is imperative that we get Wesley Fofana, we get a midfielder, we get a striker, another striker, and we get another right wing back. We have yeah. four players to bring in. It's it's a yeah. must. It's not even yeah. a luxury. And, and unless we do that, we won't be in contention. We really won't because... You know, there's so many gaps in this squad. And and Tuco really needs to buck his ideas up, dare I say it. You know, this is a Premier League. It doesn't these all these teams really suss you out very, very quickly. And you can't keep doing this. You know, I know people are saying rightly so, yes, maybe it was the legs, they needed Brojo on the right and and so on and so forth. Well, if you really did need somebody with legs, you could have brought in Akim Ziyech. You know, Bro Broja is an attacker, and he needed to be the pit, the, the the spearhead. And I, I just hope that against Tottenham, you know, as we're saying, he starts. Uh, I think Gallagher has to start. 
I don't know what yeah. Jorginho is doing. He confuses me now. I, I don't see the point of Jorginho anymore. Um, but, you know... If, I think if, I think if, if I think Jorginho is there to kind of a guaranteed penalty goal is what Jorginho brings well, them. That's not even, not, even, brings. not even not even that. I think he's there to kind of help um, Koulibaly settle in. Yeah, Popular, but you know Koulibaly, you can see he's not the condition isn't there yet. After sixty oh, yeah. minutes, if you're pulling up with cramp and things like oh, yeah. that, it shows you're not fit. Um, yeah, yeah. And, the game, you know, the, the, where the was the Chalaba? Where was Chalaba? Uh, he, he was on the bench. I did, I did see him on the bench. Yeah, he was on bench. Are you I saying he's bench. not fit? He's had the whole preseason with everybody else. This is what I don't understand. What is the coaching staff doing with no, the conditioning of these only, players? Because I didn't see it yesterday. It, prob- it, it probably is that. It probably is that. Hence why players like Chalaba weren't fit enough. You know, it, I, I mean, we got the points. What I hope now is that we identify these targets that we've seen in terms of concerns and they are addressed going into next week so that we do not look lack of crea- creative. We don't look bewildered. We did look, we look, we look kind of bewildered. It was a bit of experience that helped us at the back. I'm telling you that one on one with um, when Gordon, was it Gordon one on one or Domara right, Gray? Yeah. Right, Gray right. Or Domara Gray one on one on the break. It was the experience of of Thiago Silva, that that ball didn't go through to Gordon. If not, that's a one nil there or one or I forgot what. By the, 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 we, yeah, you bro. know why? You know why we conceded that chance? Take a guess. Um, Jorginho. No, no, no. It was Mason Mount. Mason no, Mount. He Mason gave it away on the right. Stupid. Took a stupid shot. Uh, so it, it does. It does, Sometimes it does these things like I don't know. His brain. It's got. It's got something. He just he kicked it to straight to Allison. It was like yeah. straight to Allison. It was like no, one it, of was those shot. Shot. it was a yeah, shot. And the board and it was a shot. Yeah, on the shot where he didn't need to take a shot. And it and parried the, out. Yeah, and then the shot hit uh, a, an Everton defender and Aspi. Aspi thought he could jump it ahead and of it, Mar- uh, and Damara Gray and then he's yeah. sorry, not Allison. Um, I don't yeah. know what they're. If, if you had the, the passage of play before that, Mount was doing this. He, he, again, he had the stupid cross in a box where there is no one. We should have passed. Oh, I just no. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. But what 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 we'll just take from that is that the players weren't aren't yet. I think it's the play, the quality. If you like, we and if you want to compare it, look at Liverpool as well. I mean, they had a good community shield against City, and in the game against Fulham, they looked as if you know look, it's a way game. Yeah, I think that you could argue the crowd atmosphere played into it. Hey, uh, we're gonna uh, acknowledge uh, CMC Fahim's uh, super chat, the best Chelsea content channel ever. Big up! Thank you for the two dollars, CMC Fahim. We should uh, always honor the super chat immediately when we see it. That's uh, an immense. Uh, that, that's an immense love from a brother. I think he recognized we're having some technical issues here, but we have bright, brilliant panelists who continued with the show, and I' busy also <laughs> playing Coachella, saying, "But that's by the way." But you guys weren't paying attention. <laughs> Go ahead, I' busy. <laughs> <laughs> but that's by the way. Let me I'm add some delicious chat. comments in. Uh, yeah. gonna, that's so that's by the way. I'm just gonna come to the chat right now. Let's go to the bottom. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I, I cannot thank you guys enough. Uh, I I was uh, thinking, okay, that's it for the day. Uh, but uh, again, we had Bobby, we have uh, the panic bus driver, we had Phantom, who's having an identity crisis right now. Not sure what team to really follow until we sign Mitrovic. I'm on Team yeah. Mitrovic, Alexander Mitrovic. That's his and then, name. Golden and then boot. We have Golden uh, we have my Niger brother, IBZ. I appreciate you, bro. Again, you did a good job making sure the show went, uh, you know, continued. And again, uh, thank you to CSC for him, uh, a brilliant channel. I think he's gonna hit ten thousand soon. And if you're watching, if you haven't uh, tried this channel, go give it a go give it a shot. Believe me, you will. Come back and tag me later. Be sure to subscribe. Let him know I sent you. Uh, he says the best uh, Chelsea content channel. Uh, big up to you, brother. I appreciate that. Again, I, I cannot thank you enough uh, for this support. You know you shouldn't do that. And you know quite well how I see uh, you know these uh, donations. But that's, by the way, I appreciate that with all my heart. And I owe you one. Uh, but thank you. I'm going to try to catch up with the chat a bit. But first, I want to say immense thank you to all the panelists for continuing. continuing. I don't know... If the bus driver himself has spoken, your conductor is here. He's actually claiming 
it should be the driver himself. But we'll get we get <laughs> back to you uh, uh, to that. He says, uh, "Stop complaining, Liverpool drew yesterday." Nobody is talking about that. Uh, and, uh, again, a lot of people are talking about it. They, 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 again, it's a game, actually, that they, ha they have no business drawing that game. I think they were lucky, if you ask me. That's how I see it. Maybe we see things, uh, from, see things from different lenses. Uh, probably uh, uh, some people see that they, des they deserve the draw they got from that game. I will get the Fofana and, and, and Nikola um, Milankovic for 13 million, the younger Dumfries and uh, Trossard. Again, um, I, I'm sure we're, we're, we're going to see a lot more signings coming. I, I argued that before. I think it was a declarer who, who was arguing that we'll get just one more player in. The truth remains, players were still coming. But the only difference is that we'll be well, you know, can say well into the season, about four or five games into the season or three games into the season, and players will still be coming in. And it has happened before. This wouldn't be the first time. Uh, says Gallag Gallagher needs uh, to be given more minutes. He should, but the introduction will be gradual. There's a way you do it. Again, you uh, should I say? I, I, don't, I don't know if it would be correct to say you will cost this. Con oh, oh, don't worry. Sent. That, that this is not about being oh, a sentimental. Back. Back. Yeah, go ahead. You you know you're talking. Yeah. Sorry, you you froze you froze for a few for a few seconds. Oh really? Yeah, which means it's still happening. But I, I trust you guys to always continue if it can, if it continues happening. I've reset the boat uh, the booster. I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, but can you guys hear me now? Yeah, it's fine. You're fine now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. yeah. The introduction of the youngsters, including Galaga, including uh, what's his name, uh, Broha. I think it will be gradual. But you, we, we may well see Broha start the next game, given how awful. Uh, our front line were yesterday. But again, uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, Chelsea will, will have to raise their bar next week. It's natural. When we play teams, you think will mock the floor with us. That's when you see the best out of these players. Again, it's a mentality thing. I don't know if they take uh, teams, uh, you know, you, that are struggling, that maybe have some injury concerns or maybe their best players are out. Again, it, to them, it's just they feel like they've won the game already and then they go into that game not given 150, 100%. I, I, I was actually afraid. I wasn't, I wasn't confident we were going to win that game. I was so nervous because I, I, I'm hearing some Chelsea fans go, Calvin Lewin is out, uh, player B is out, so they practically are. We're going to kill them. That's when you know we have a problem. And I suspected it was going to happen and it happened again. Uh, but that's by the way, I'm going to try and speak less. I will skip to the very bottom of, of the chat because of the issue we're having right now. If I try to talk more, there's a chance I'll be going, uh, you know, talking and without knowing whether you guys are hearing me or not. Rodrigo, I don't know. Have you spoken about your observations uh, in the game? Uh, no, I can go on. I can go on. Yeah. All right, go ahead, brother. So uh, I have to start. I watched I watch pretty much every game yesterday. And I have to say, Chelsea and Nottingham Forest were the worst. The worst footballing wise were the worst teams. I wasn't mm. impressed at I all. I agree. Yeah, I was impressed at all the way we played. It was oh, it was oh, it was shambolic. I've, this this is one of those games where I'm so happy we took the three points. I would not. It's not. I would never. I won't watch this game again. <laughs> it's like oh, thank you for the three point we moved. But in terms of the game itself, Kulibali, Sterling, and later on Kukurea did really well. We can see why we needed these these players. So anyone who said, "Oh no, we didn't need to spend so much on Kukurea," come on, the evidence is there. Apparently, Chill well actually apparently Tuko asked him, "Are you fit? Are you ready?" He said yes, but apparently came out and said, "Actually, looking back, I don't think I was ready for the game." So this guy nearly cost us the game because of his willingness wanting to play. So you, our attack looks very flat. It looks dead. Like um. Only Sterling look like he's the only one that's trying to play. Uh, this experiment, I've well, seen. There's only much he could do. I uh, know. You can't, especially when you play in a 3-4-3, three, three, your three attackers have to be dynamic. You have to, you know, you have to have like, you know, someone like a Pedro, someone like, like a William, someone that could chase, that will try, want to create, want to do something, want to stand. Someone like a Mitrovic. 
Exactly. Someone like how are you gonna carry on? <laughs> yeah, we go make, make him happy. This this yeah. is what I've been saying. A traditional yeah. he, number nine. A traditional word number nine. Even if you don't have a, a traditional, even if you don't, you need you need people who are dynamic in the in the in the formation they're playing because you you don't have much support. Because like Bobby was saying earlier, the support that you need from midfield is non-existent. Because again, I I I'm a big Jorginho fan, but yesterday. I just every single pass, the simple passes. I mean, just the five yard passes, the ten yard passes. When coming off, there was a time where he, he passed the ball. He was passing the ball to an Everton player, and then what Lampard did well is he he targeted him because then he knows he's the he's obviously the deepest midfield. It's one that start to build up play. So if you put someone energetic on him, so they have he will be tracking him all of the and the court. He will be played well yesterday. He played well. And, yeah, imagine. Ooh. A pivot of Iwobi and Dukure locked locked a midfield down. Apparently, Iwobi Iwobi has been wasting his his whole career playing in other positions. <laughs> the guy is a six. You play, you yeah. play him in the middle. It's not even hard. I think when you play against a guy like Jorginho, it's not really hard as long as you have the fitness. Well, that's another point. If you have the fitness as an opposition player and you can you can track him, you can you can you don't give him space. You already won the battle against Jorginho because he doesn't. He doesn't have the. It's not like a cover switch who's gonna beat you on a, with a dribble. Jorginho t- turns like a. At least yesterday was turning like a train, so he's like he's taking like an elephant in the middle of the park. I wasn't impressed at all. If we carry on like obviously, uh, the the reason we're playing like that because when your mind is tired, your legs are not moving fast. I feel fitness is not there. Because sometimes you know that extra that extra yard, that extra press that you need to do to win the ball is not happening because obviously fitness is not up to point. Again, that goes down to the coaching and the preparation of the preseason. Because everyone has the same time for preseason. How come Fulham look fit? How come Newcastle look fit? How come all these teams look fit? And we don't. We have professional football players. Is it because of the travelling? The planning wasn't good? We can point fingers at everyone, but Tottenham travel to South Korea and they look fit, fitter than anybody. We need reinforcement in midfield. I don't care what Tuchel said. He said, I think he's trying to play it down because everyone knows we're in for... Uh, no, if you paid attention, he's actually saying we need, but yeah, let's, I, think yeah, I don't think he, he's just... Prat- what my, my, I think my observation is that yeah. if that's not the priority at the moment. There are other areas he's prioritising. I think he has... With Gallagher in that midfield, I think he 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 stood up to yeah, but, a, a but Gallagher, Gallagher, physical, in terms of uh, physicality and otherwise. Go ahead. The young comes. Gallagher plays next to the young. I don't. Gallagher is not gonna control the tempo of the game. Gallagher, no, he can't. He has to play with somebody who's yeah, yeah, like, you know who can uh, fulfill the register role because it looks like, like Toko likes it. Yeah. So the young would the young would probably do a better job than what what we saw yesterday from Jorginho. And it's not the first time we saw this from Jorginho. So it's not like oh. Yeah, so it's not the first. And then we need one, one thing we need. Either we need a, a centre forward or we need a proper right winger. Like someone that someone that can actually do something in attack. Because we also from Harvard and Mount yesterday. At one point, Tuko was, I don't know if, I think it was to Mount. He was telling him, are you sleeping? I think he did it twice. Are you, are you sleeping? What's happening? Because his decision making yesterday, again, was very, very poor. was average. And that kid from Everton, Gordon, it was wearing number 10. This is what I thought Mount would be doing <laughs> for for us yesterday. And he was just nowhere near. I wouldn't criticize too much. I understand is we, we lack fitness. That's most most of the thing that didn't go right yesterday is down to fitness, really. Because quality is there, but uh we, we need we need we need a lot of work. We need a lot of work. <laughs> we, mm. it, it doesn't look like you're gonna drop the keys to the panic boss anytime no, soon. No, no, yeah. After yesterday, because I, I actually watch I watch pretty much every game. Uh Wolves wasn't impressive, Wolves against Leeds, but they were not as bad as us. I think from all from all the twenty um, I don't know if it's twenty ten team plays, but from all the games yesterday, Chelsea and Nottingham Forest look really bad. <laughs> Okay, I, I'm gonna say something quickly. As you guys were having the conversation without, uh, you know, but yeah, the, my brother IBZ took on the role of a host. I think we're gonna start a new show uh, called the Blue Convo. 
uh, where it's just, you just sit, everybody sit, hot talk, Chelsea, no host, you know, just like in a bar or something. <laughs> Maybe I would change the name. And I'm serious about it. I think it starts even, there's a chance it starts today. No host, just a talk, Chelsea. Somebody brings up the topic is going to be random. I think it will be enjoyable. Um, but is thank you very much for that. The, uh, is that going to replace the the uh, any the, the other show or, or the no? Sister the sister channel. channel it's not going to replace anything. The sister channel will still be launched. I think it's a week from now. The branding process is complete. Just some adjustment uh, okay. again, but that's a different thing altogether. But that's a good idea to let people you know roll, and those in the chat can participate. If anybody on the panel want to want to respond to what they're seeing in the chat, they go ahead and do so. Uh, you know, but that's by the way. Uh, but thank you. I appreciate the love uh, because, again, I cannot thank you guys enough. Uh, again, uh, I was really concerned, but uh, we move, and, uh, and I'm so happy. Uh, Liverpool only drew because the pitch was, <laughs> was too dry, mate. <laughs> Haven't you heard a jo Jorgen? Yeah, we've heard them. Uh, one game in, and it's uh, uh, already morning. The start again. time was too early. The wind direction was not favorable to him when it was mm -hmm. his turn to have the the uh, the northern half of the stadium. These are all real complaints from Jurgen Klopp in the past. Yeah, uh, Tuchel does that too. I think they do that. It's a way of deflecting the blame from the players. Managers do that. He knows quite well that uh, the issue wasn't the pitch. Uh, it, again, it's, it's just uh, managers do that all the time. Indirect. But I want to say uh, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you so much uh, for 40 likes thus, uh, thus far. We can do better than that. We have 103 people watching. Please, if you haven't, take a second to like the video and also do subscribe to the channel. Soon, we'll start rating the player. We'll rate them, get it done as soon as possible, and then talk transfers because there are some uh, things that are happening. Let's just put it that way. And I want to be Gerard or Romero. Is it Romero, his last name? But things are really happening. Uh, people uh, forget that winning, uh, winning when you, when you are yeah yeah wins wins you the league. Uh, again, I get what you mean there. Uh, that's the hallmark of champions. You grind that result, even when you underperform, you still win games. If we can, you know, if we can continue doing that while we bring in reinforcements, because I know more players will come in. And Toko, uh, whereas he sounded happy during his uh, press conference. You could. He, he still says that uh, we could still sign. He still said something uh, to region of okay, We're going to sign more players. He wants more players in, and, and that will go along with the good thing is that we're being strategic with our spending. We're being strategic with the signings. Every player that comes in fits into how the manager wants to play. You see, Cucurella, he looked at home yesterday. It was a breath of fresh air. His intelligence. You see, he see passing lanes where I have an... This is not me condemning Ben Shewell. There are things they do differently. This is not me. They get, he, see, he see passing lanes where I don't think Ben, ben Shewell looks. Look There's a the time you think he's out of options and he just cuts it in towards the middle of the beach and finds somebody and he adds a pace yes. to his passes that it's going to be difficult for you to stop it even if you see it. By the time you, you're thinking about stopping it, the pass has got, gotten to the intended person. That's one thing I saw is the intelligence. Look the one-time cross that Raheem nearly, nearly scored from. For, for Some Sterling, other player yeah. will cut it back mm -hmm. uh, because he got to the ball with a pace, but the one time he, you know, he orchestrated a cross from it. Some other players will be, the moment they go to it, will be okay to control it or try and look back or, or pass it backwards or maybe... You know, tried to dribble the player, but he knew that the player coming after him hasn't gotten to him. So the best option will be to cross the ball, and he did that. So that shows you we're paying attention to the players I'm si worth signing, and that makes me happy. And I think if the young comes, he will be an upgrade, uh, an upgrade to Jorginho. The similar, he can control the game, but he's not that much. Uh, he's not at that level with Jorginho because Jorginho is traditionally a register, and what they do. Is to control the tempo of the game, but because he's more physical, he's quicker. He ha he can create chances. He can also get you goals. I think he's he's a super upgrader to Jorginho. But that's by the way. Let me try and catch up with the chat again. I think uh, we're still having a great show, no matter what we we've overcome some uh, technical issues, uh, and nobody will actually sense it except if those that were asking, okay, where's Kachila? Uh, he says, we know the problem, just need to act on it. We're working on it, I, I still believe. We wasted a preseason in now Gallagher has no clear role in the team, especially with a Chukwemeka coming in. 
Um, that sounds like a, a legit concern, but we'll see what the manager wants. He has a plan, I believe so. Uh, again, I'm going to scroll to the very bottom because I've been in and out of the show. I'm not going to sit here and try to read everything. We, we have to get into, you know, rating the players. Overall, for me, uh, uh, the most you could say, uh, the most pronounced concern that I observed, that I saw yeah, during that game was um, the, the lack of vision from the midfield. Um, all they did, uh, Kante, Kante did what he was known for, uh, but Jorginho was, you could say, was practically useless. I uh, oh, Except for helping us control the game. He did that quite well. But he I think we should look beyond... In, Sorry? In He's a great penalty taker. I, 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 in recent years, you couldn't, you shouldn't count him as a great penalty taker. You, the pass from pass uh, on the front Lampard. When he, was it on the front Lampard? He missed two penalties in a one in one game. Missed uh, some penalties, uh, crucial penalties for um, Italy. And what one of which you could argue is the reason why they're not going to the World Cup and all that. You can, he, I think he shouldn't count as great. And at this point, in certain teams that role would have been taken away from him uh, because it's a huge risk uh, again. But that's, by the way, just when you think, uh, okay, he's back again, he wouldn't miss any, and boom, it happens so in some most cases in crucial games. Uh, and again, I, if, to me, if you ask me, when, when he was ready to take that penalty, I still see somebody who is a bit nervous. But that's, by the way, let me bring in Ty, get his opinion on the game overall, then we'll move on to rating, uh, uh, rating the players uh, overall. Ty, your thoughts? And by the um, way, a part of my bad manners. I hope you're doing well. I was, I was about to, I was about to say, um, well, it's probably not even um, morning for everybody now. For some people, but I'm going to say blue morning still. So, mm. thank you for that. Yeah. Uh, well, I am better than I was two days ago. Still have some issues, but uh, I, I am feeling a bit better, a bit better. Um. Anyway, like I told I mean, you yesterday, I believe in God, and I'll be praying for you, and I, I know you'll get better. Yeah, um, thank you. Um, the, 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 I think a lot of people have been saying this as well. The, the important thing is that we won. We got three points and we finally won at Goodison Park uh, after, what was it, four or five years or four seasons? So I think um, that, that, that is a positive. I, I think that's one of the po possibly three positives. I mean, we, we got to see uh, with the three um, signings that we made um, at least show some level of of um, them being quality. I mean, Corona came on and, and he at least did something. We, we saw the, we saw great contrast to, from him and Chilwell, so so he did something. I mean, Kulabali, Kulabali looked like he's still adapting. He, he he was obviously I don't think he's he's fit um completely because he he got cramps uh, a lot. Um, Silva nearly got injured after he made a um a, a overhead pass. But I mean, the, the game, the game was not really the, the most entertaining. It was pretty boring. But I, I, I guess, in a sense, the, I think the manager's tactical, the two managers' tactical approach to the game ruined it for everybody. It wasn't one to enjoy in terms of yeah, being. Every time we, yeah. every time we, we were defending very deep at, uh, at sometimes, and then sometimes our players had to pull them out of position, try to make space. And that's how and that's how Chilwell um got into the box to to win the penalty because Sterling was um he, he was deep and then he went out to, to the left and then he pulled I don't remember who I think it was Mina that he pulled out and then yeah. Chilwell got the space to run in and then um I think who was it the was the who who, who gave away the penalty was it the Corey Corey. Or, Corey. Yeah, the Corey and then to the oh, Corey was it had the Corey? to run behind you. Yeah and he had to come in and, and and had to um, bring him down because he, he wasn't able to stop him. So I think there, there were some positives to the game, but the game was pretty boring. Yeah. We still we still looked like we were lost. We, the the, the decision-making in the attack was was pretty poor. Uh, Mason Mo was... We didn't see much of Mason Mo. Havertz was was very bad. He was horrible. I I, 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 I don't know. That, 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 that may be one of his worst games in, in a show teacher. I, I think there was a there was an issue. I think there's still chemistry being developed there as well. They, there was no understanding because I I saw Sterling. Um, he looked like he had a a, a a epiphany, and then he realized that oh I'm not a Man City anymore because he he made some passes and then he made a run and nobody was able to to, to find him. Yeah, I know what you mean. He made a pass. He made a pass. 
and then he made the run, yeah, and then he realized that there's no De Bruyne that's gonna give me that, that's gonna give me that ball back. And I was like, e. That's when it was yeah. the realization. You're right. I see it. That's yeah, it. and and the only time that he, I think he maybe had some, you know, relief is when Cucurella came on and he made that pass and they were linking up. Cucurella, yo, man, oh <laughs> uh, god, uh, this this show could could quite easily be end with me talking about Cucurella most of the time. But Cucurella came on and played twenty five minutes, and I I saw him do more progressive passing than that what I was seeing for most of the game. He he was meek. He was he was he, he it's like he was he knew what to do. From the beginning, he's like he, he thought ahead. So he's like, okay, I get the ball, I'm gonna do this. And I remember that even though Kanti was offside for the moments, um, you know, we, we always go backwards. I see, like I don't know what the, the guy did. It's like he was gonna go, he, he probably like he was gonna pass it backwards. The man did a 360 and pass it to Kanti, and then <laughs> and he did twice. He, he I know he, I, I, I know this, I know the place you're talking about, yeah. Yeah, so I, I mean like Kukara is the, the guy has the initiative and the instinct and the decision making that I, I've wanted for so long on that side and, and I know it's still early days and I know things could all, always go bad but so far everything's so positive with him he one training session and and, the, and and I know that you know the, the, this is what Barcelona Academy is like they they develop this team and, and I always find it strange the fact that they let him go because I mean they, they had already made replacement for Alba, but I mean, it, it benefits us in the long run, so I'm not going to complain about that. But I mean, the, the decision-making was pretty poor. I mean, Mason Moore had an opportunity, he hesitated, giving Everton time to, to set up back, because they were out of position. I mean, the midfield was non-existent, Iwobi was playing deep, and and he, I mean, he was he's not the, the most ideal number six, but he was... But he had fun. Things. He, he was actually they good, because he was really good back. He was winging the ball back. He was, and, and I mean, I honestly have to say this: if Everton had a, a, a number nine or or Richarlison, somebody like that, we would have lost that game because they had made so many chances that if they had somebody central, they would have scored a goal. I mean, they came very close. So I mean, that's exactly what I was saying. So so so, if they if they had the opportunity to have somebody there. We could have lost that game, but I mean, it's 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 three points, um, three points at the start of the season, and I mean, we, we created history because apparently I heard that they haven't they haven't lost a game since what was it ten years yeah. on match on the the first the first game of the season. So I mean, we we we, we did some positive. So that, that's two know. things breaking our own breaking uh, the is that is uh, uh well, overcoming the, the issue of us the having, the we haven't won curse. a game there. Go ahead, Ty. The goodness, the goodness and curse and them not losing on. On, on match day one because they always they either win or they draw so it's it's a positive I mean there's still it's still early days the, the team is still developing but I don't think we're I don't think we're ready yet and we need to be ready for Spurs because Spurs look Spurs and and I and I made and I made a um reference to this in um in, in a past stream as well. Um Conte is drilling them into the ground. They they're running they're doing drills they're dropping he they have to get back up they can't stop they're, they're being drilled into the ground. Kane is dropping. Son is dropping. Everybody's dropping. And I mean, yes, they, yes, they, 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 they didn't look as ideal, but they actually look as if they, they're doing something. They, the backline wasn't the, the most um ideal because they made, they made mistakes. But, you know, they, no surprise. We saw counter attacking. Um, Southampton made a mistake. And then in a matter of seconds, um, Spurs um, pounced on that. And then Kulakuski scored. And, and you know they scored. Then I, I think Salisu scored an own goal, and I think Cecine Young opened a scoring arm for them when they when they were behind. So I mean, it, we need to be ready. And right now we don't look ready. And and, and I mean, that is why when people were saying that preseason is just preseason, I was like, when do we prepare for the season? Do we prepare on the first day? Because you need preseason is about fitness, fine. But when you have these games, and 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 it's not like preseason where you have eight games or or something like that where you have that. And especially with the fact that we, we went all we seen from Chelsea was them going all around USA, like for, for, for merchandising and, and baseball and things like that. That that's frustrating because we, we, we're trying to to rebuild and yes, like Tuku said, we're in a transitional period. But at the same time, you, you need to show some progression from, from the from the beginning. You can't be doing the same thing um struggling for but um for top four, um doing it last minute and trying to get it. You need to be doing it as soon as possible because these teams are de are developing. It's not like the Premier League ten years ago, where where teams are not getting the players that that they want because those players are not attracted. Team players like um Kamara and, and players like um 
uh, what's his name, um, Onana and things like that. They'll go to clubs where they look like they're struggling because they, they, they have a desire to play in the Premier League. And teams are developing and, it, and they're improving and they're getting in players. So we can't underestimate the league and say that, oh, it, it, yeah, these teams have always been it. And I guess Spurs, I'm not Spurs, I'm not saying Spurs would be at, uh, an ultimate um, challenge because I'm still, I'm still yet to see Conte being able to balance a uh, uh, um, uh, European competition and the league at the same time because we, we know that we won the league with him because we had no Europa. So we played one game a, a week sometimes. And even at Inter Milan, when he won the league with, with, um, with, um, with Inter Milan, they got eliminated from the Champions League. They didn't get Europa League. They got straight eliminated. They finished fourth. And then they, they surpassed East Milan. And then that's what they wanted. So I'm yet to see him balance it out. And the back line does not look ideal there. And they, they, they brought in players for, for, for rotation and depth. But I'm, I'm not convinced just yet. But they, they're not a team that you should um, take lightly, I think. Yeah. Uh, Ty, are you... Ty, can I ask you one thing? Hey, yeah. we have, we've got breaking news too. Timo Werner has been confirmed to go to Leipzig. That's just... On a permanent. On a permanent. Yeah, yeah, we heard that. Well, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. I wanna, I wanna ask, are you... Are you when I watched yesterday, it seems that we, we lack height in our team. Is that, is, that, is that just me or did you notice that? Like we have too many short Very, players. very true. Very true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I keep saying this. There, there, there are two things that really annoy me and I keep saying it. One, physicality, which includes height. Height at the back is crucial. All these little players that Tuchel thinks he can rely on in centre-back positions, central defensive positions, they will be torn apart in the Premier League. The Premier League is about physicality, whether you like it or not. This isn't La Liga, where you can play two important games and tiki-taka your way through the rest of the season. This is big boy stuff. They don't mess around. And why this hasn't sunk in really annoys me. I don't think it is acceptable anymore for Tuco to start telling us that there's nothing wrong with the midfield. The midfield is a major problem at Chelsea. And this idea, yes, he can play left centre-back. Yeah, maybe against uh, uh, Accrington Stanley in the FA Cup. But don't put um, uh, Cucurella as centre-back uh, uh, as, as left centre back in a game against someone like Everton, that's full of you know burly, strong, tall, powerful players. It's unrealistic, and I, I don't know. Even the fan base don't seem to get it. Sometimes coming up with all these little players, Chelsea need physical players. Full stop. That's the reality. Yeah, again, I think uh, we need to mix it, but we still have to sign up. There are more, we still have uh, some signings will still come in because we have about three more players or even more that leave the club, which means us, I think we have to balance it. It doesn't, uh, I believe it would be stupid not to pay attention to that because uh, it's a serious disadvantage when you're playing against a more, a more you know, he heavily built uh, you know, teams. But that's, by the way, Again, uh, Sorry, let's I, get let, into let the. Let me say something because I want yeah, to respond right. to what Rodrigo said. Um, I, I made I made reference to some parts to part of what Bobby said. I mean, with Cucarella, I, I, when when we were when we was talking about Cucarella, I was saying that I think, and you asked about um, which position we think he would play in. Uh, that that is this is one of the reasons why I'm saying that if you're gonna play him, he has to play as a left wing back until. Maybe if Tua can at least be 50 50 percent of what he was before, because I've always said I don't think Tua is going to return the same player. Unfortunately, I don't think he's going to be the same player ever again. And uh, no, that's, think... that's, again, uh, that may well be the case. He it looked, oh my goodness, he looked like he's still learning how to play football yesterday. Yeah, he and, was, and, and he was heartbreaking to, to put was one to beat. See. Was on his own, he will be alone and then falls on the ball even when nobody yeah. touched him. <laughs> So yeah, that was hilarious to see. to see, even. But I feel bad, and I again, again, Typhoon thoughts, bro. Let's move on and start rating the players and talk yeah. some transfers. Yeah, it, yeah. So, it, so in, in terms, in terms of that, and I, I mean the height. Yeah, because we had an issue. I mean, Tarkovsky coming in and many having to make that save over the over the bar. Things that that's an issue, and I mean, we we look we look disjointed as well. The, 
the team is very the team was the back line is a bit short. I mean Aspi is is it's not the tallest. Silva is I think is just six foot six foot. Um um and I think um Kulabali is probably the, the tallest of, of all the three. So we they need that. And probably that is why the Tuku is probably looking at Fofana. Whether or not the price tag is ideal, I think maybe he's looking at these taller defenders. Because, yeah, I think Kukurola comes in as a left wing back and probably occasionally as a left centre back, probably with some support at left wing back. But I, I, I'm not really convinced that that the, this this is going to be the ideal thing because the, the height is going to be an issue. And I mean, this this is what we always say that if you're going to go for defenders, they need to at least have, even, even if they're short, they need to be able to make it up with aerial duels. And that's what I'm saying that one of Kukurola's weaknesses is that although, and, and obviously he's he's a bit short, so obviously he's not going to be the most um, ideal player when it comes on to relying on aerial duels on that left side. But I mean, that is why he needs somebody. And that's why Fofana made sense because he can play in the on the left, he can play on the right, and he can play in the centre because he's tall. He's taller, he's taller than um, Silva. So that, that gives you height and that, and that brings positivity so, Ty, in the team as well. So. Ty, sorry, so, oh, sorry to interrupt you, Ty. Fofana is a must. Fofana is an absolute must. That's why we've got to pay the money for him. Let's not I think we will eventually. Yeah. yeah. I, I, so. I think we will eventually pay the money uh, because at this point, whether we like it or not, I don't we know, will be panic buying. Yeah from a financial perspective but one thing i like that even though we're desperate the club are still looking at players only players who fit into how the manager wants to play the game but they are willing not not they're not minding the prices they're getting in the place as long as they fit what the manager wants to do the price isn't an issue so in terms of panic buy we're doing that right now from a financial perspective not like buying the wrong players and again i think the height issue will be addressed uh, we have a lot of players who are, uh, you know, again, uh, how do I phrase it? Who you could say are not, again, we have too many players who are at certain height because it wouldn't be, uh, I wouldn't say politically correct. It would seem, uh, let's not sound as if we're categorizing people and then dehumanizing them to any measure. Just being careful because these days language they use could get into trouble. But we need a balance. Yeah, uh, football is about intelligence and your ability on the ball. But sometimes your beauty, uh, you know, does come into play. So I think Thomas Soko is well, well, uh, he's well aware of that, which I, your title already alluded to that, which is probably the main reason why we're trying to get in our Fafana. And the young isn't small too. So again, I think we'll, we will have a balance there. But that's by the way, let's move on and start rating the players soon. And I want to thank wait. Phantom for bringing up this update here. Uh, where it says Timo Werner, uh, uh, will return to RB Leipzig on a permanent deal from Chelsea. But Fabrizio Romano, the German scored 90 goals in 156 games with the club between 2016 to 2020. So it, it's a, I think it's, it's a how good thing for him. And I'm happy for him. How, Sorry? How, how much are we getting for him? 20, 25 million? Uh, I'm not seeing the price anywhere. Maybe it's undisclosed usually, but we'll, we'll find out. Paid, what, I'm sure million? it's a sizable fee. How how much, how much uh, how long does he still have on his contract? Four or five years. Up no. to that? What? Three years. Oh, three years. I think it should be around three. So I think we'll get a sizable fee from his soul, except if we're looking to get someone else from them. Um, because uh, the truth is, I think Toko is still looking to get in more defenders especially on the left-hand side. And I don't think he got a Cucurella to play in the left centre-back position. Thai has also talked about that, especially after seeing how well, you know, you know, uh, he's a plus, a serious, ooh, a huge ooh, plus for ooh. us going forward. Ooh, ooh. Can I quickly ask a question? Could, could I ask a quick question? Did you yeah, guys realise that, uh, that, did you realise that um, Tuku moved Aspi to the left to play left centre-back and James as right centre-back? Yeah, that, that shows you Cucurella, he wants him further forward. Yeah, and, yeah, I, and that's I guess what we're talking that's the Spanish, same thing. That Spanish, Spanish, that, that Spanish connection. On the, on the left yeah, side. that's another thing too. Uh, plus, I think Cucurella, like I said, he just Cucurella. Uh, let's say Cucurella, Arella, Raheem Sterling. He didn't get a goal, but he nearly got one. And Khalidu Kolobali, he's not up to par yet. Even as as even though he does, he didn't look hundred percent, you can still see that he's uh, you know a, a huge improvement to what we had before. No matter how you want to see it. That was a ball into the box that, for some reason, he was there. 
And without him being there, I think we would have had an Everton player alone score that goal, but he cleared it. But there are all the things he did. He was the one that passed the ball to um, Chilwa, was so, it? Yeah. Wasn't he the one? Yeah, and yeah. Then, then, then the penalty game. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then the penalty again, again, he, he's, he will come into his own fully. In, 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 that's two, three games. Probably in the next game, I think he will be better. Hopefully, he's not seriously injured. But let me catch up with the chat. Again, I've left them alone too much. We have 109 people watching and we have 51 likes. Uh, please beef up, beef up the likes. Keep liking the video because the more you like the video, uh, the more the YouTube algorithm will be triggered and the more people will be able to reach us. So thank you. Uh, now, that reminds me of all the times people called him, uh, yeah, yeah and, and to be sold alongside Ziek. Again, if he's leaving, I'm sure the club must have a replacement uh, lined up. Uh, 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 SI or C uh, told us uh, to get ready, more incoming. We just uh, sold Werner, Cho is leaving too. Ziek probably will still leave. Those are two attacking midfielders. Uh, three, if you add Ziek, uh, Ziek to it, can only mean one thing. Incomings. There are players coming in, and I don't think the club will sanction the exit of these players if we are not getting new players. And I'm all for it. I'm all for it. No, I don't. I could, I don't care how long it would take for them to gel. But I think we need to do that now. If we have any player in the team who's you know set their mind on leaving oh, the club, working. just let them go. Uh, it doesn't help uh, uh, to keep them. Uh, you'd rather face more problem. It is again. It's not for Fana. And it's not for fun. Okay, we'll see what happens there. I say, uh, Glenn, uh, uh, Cho, where we're not sure where exactly. I think is it Dortmund? Or what club is he joining? Cho. Sure. Yeah, if nothing is certain yet, he just said he he's told what he he's just Dortmund told the club. Everton wants him. Everybody wants him. Everybody yeah. wants him. So everybody wants him. Maybe that will give us a chance of getting for fun because we need a for fun. And if we're going to be playing the high-risk game we saw yesterday, the high line and anything, we need young, the, a mix of youth and experience in the back line. Otherwise, we will be exposed. Silver, how did you feel when Silva went down, holding his, holding his leg? Yeah, I was concerned. Pass, and then I was like, oh, Jesus, did he break his foot? <laughs> As yeah. Because his bones, his bones are seizing up. <laughs> uh, so uh, uh, Fashi Kani says after watching Chelsea yesterday I get worried on why we'll use uh, Kante and Jachino at the same time uh, how are we uh, going to get our goals when we don't even have creativity in the middle of the pack again some people will argue you don't need them to create but I, I don't believe that one bit they should be creating chances uh, and Jorginho if we had it in him on occasions uh, if he was Fabregas even from that deep the moment Stalin starts making those runs, he'd find him. But he didn't even see him. He saw Make him. Those... He saw him. Yeah, he saw him. He put his hand up. He apologized. Okay, maybe. But but he didn't try he for that. once. Try to reach him, let alone miss, miss him. You know, again, I'm going to scroll. Do we have too many? Let's see how many. Okay, I think I can actually catch up right now. Uh, oh, he just expanded. I'm going to scroll to the very bottom so we can start rating the players. Anybody on the panel want to add anything else again? It's Kami. I was just saying for fun, is starting for Leicester right now. Is it starting? Yeah, he's starting. They, they put yeah, up he's the still contracted to them. He doesn't change anything. He's a no, professional. I'm just saying that because, because we're hearing people say that he's not going to be playing, he won't be in the squad. So I'm just saying that. Uh, that it depends. If they really want to get the money, they want to act, act like they want to show you that he's still under contract for them. And he's a professional. If he doesn't play, he gets fined. He's going to lose quite a lot of money. Has he added Leicester City back to his profile? I don't think he's done so. The yeah. game starts in one hour. Okay, yeah, okay, thank you for that. The fact that he wants to leave uh, doesn't mean that he's not going to play that game. He plays. Uh, he, uh, otherwise, again, uh, he's sending the wrong message even to Chelsea who wants to buy him. It's not It's not. Gonna, it's not. going to. a good thing. So anybody want to say anything else about Timo Werner because it creates space and then it reduces our wage bill, uh, which... Uh, uh, Bill overall. Timo Werner gave his all. He gave his best. Um, you know, it didn't work out. He it's it's not due to a lack of trying. That's what I every everybody wanted Timo to succeed. Everybody likes Timo as a person. He was a great, you know, teammate and all that everything he else. Did? He, no, he is uh going back to where hey, he it's a far well message. He's living yeah, no, no, no. That, that part sounds as if he's saying like he's giving a tribute, like it's a eulogy. Hi, can I finish? 
Okay. I'm just, I'm just joking, man. I'm just joking. I'm sorry. So, uh, yeah, Timo, everybody liked him. Uh, you know, he got along well with the teammates. He, tr- he you know, he tried his best, and we, we should not – we should not – the, the, the guy was never taught to dribble properly. He didn't come out of the Chelsea Academy or the West. I, I was waiting for that. Soccer Youth League, which I graduated from in 1980, and we were all taught we were all taught how to dribble without looking at our feet. That's just basic, right? But Timo doesn't know how to do that. So send him back to the Bundesliga where he belongs, and we wish him the best, and we hope we can get the best uh, price for him. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much for that. Again, people, we're a bit too slow with the likes today. We have just 56 likes. If you haven't, please do take a second to like the video. Beef the likes up, please. Uh, beef it up so we can reach more people. Uh, if you're on the panel, anybody else want to say anything else about Team of Runner, or should you just move yeah, on to I, wanna, it I, wanna, I just want to quickly say this. Um, mm-hmm. Team of Runner, um, I mean, it, 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 it unfortunately didn't work out. I, I had big optimism that it, he, he, he would have worked out, but Unfortunately, he just he just joined the list of players that you know whether or not it was his fault or not, which I don't really think it is. It just didn't work out. But um, I'm happy he's going back to a club where you know he had the greatest um, history with. Uh, you know that on, on the screen he says 90 goals in 156 games. That is impressive. So I'm 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 happy that he's going to go somewhere where he's he's happy. And I mean that if if he was going to leave, I wanted him to go to Germany because I mean. It, it, that's that's where he thrived, and maybe if he goes back to a league where he, where he could he he did his greatest, maybe his confidence will slowly build back up, and he'll be and he'll be a good player again. But he is a good player, but you know he he'll have greater performances. So so I'll, I'll I'll I'm 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 happy that he's gonna you know get the move that he deserves because you know in terms of you know what benefits his career, this is the the, the best move for him. So I'm happy for him and good luck to him in the future. I'll be watching to see how he does though, because. I want to see that. I want to see if it's a case where, is is it that we weren't playing to his strengths like people are saying or or whatever? Partly, partly you could say partly we weren't we weren't playing to Timo Werner's strength. On the, the other aspect of the whole thing, another factor, a huge factor actually, is the way teams play in the Premier League. And Timo Werner, he needs a space uh, to do well. Uh, and most, he can one on one, you know how he is with the ball. He just right, give it, <clears throat> give give the ball to the opposition defender and say, please just leave me alone and go. Uh, again, uh, but if he sees a space, and that's why what some of his best performances are against uh, teams that he can find uh, spaces in behind, in behind the attack, you know the the, the opposition of our team. Uh, but where be, uh, teams defend deep, he struggles quite a lot. It's basically useless because he can't beat players one on one except. With, with speed and pace, then he gets to beat you. But that's, by the way, we move on from that one. Let's go into, you know, rating the players. Uh, and we're going to start out, uh, mainly surprisingly, I, I, you could say, he didn't make any mistakes yesterday. And, and I, I was really surprised, I have to be honest. Oh, he did. Uh, he did. Well, he he did. Many at nine. He, he did. did. He did. Did, make he a, did he make a mistake yesterday? Yes. yes. Which one can you uh, educate us? So, so there is a ball. Right, uh, there's a long ball that Silva is expecting Mendy to come and clear the ball, and Mendy is in no man's land. Oh, <laughs> in terms of a sweeper, sweeper sweep keeping. Yeah. But the ball, I think, I think I wouldn't blame him for that one, uh, because what? it would have been a mistake. Because if you the pace of the ball means uh, uh, Silva, the, that ball is still is Silva's to get under control. And another one, there's a I think it's a free kick or corner. Instead of grabbing the ball, he punched the ball, and the ball lucky it it, it didn't drop to an Everton player free. It was that it was there was this like this, there was a camele in the box, and then he's, he came out from because he didn't he didn't catch the ball, he didn't punch the ball far enough. He punched the ball in the crowd. It, it wasn't it, I don't I didn't see him confident yesterday on crosses. He, he didn't react. really. I, th- I yeah. thought he did better than he's done for why. Did you agree with uh, with Do you agree with uh, um? Rodrigo? He, 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 he made mistakes. Because even, even with that, with the, uh, what was it? I mean, he did good things. I'm not saying he was bad, but he made some mistakes. Um, I, I, I remember, I remember there was a, it was a corner kick, I, I think, and then he punched the ball, oh, and it went back to an Everton player, and then he had to, oh. he had to come out, come out big, and then he had to use That's his, the one. his That's body. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. 
Yeah, so it did look confident because we know that the Mendy from the beginning will be trying to catch that because that's what Mendy's known for. Coming out and catching it. But I guess, I don't know, he, he didn't want to bring on a player or something. So he punched it out and it wasn't um, effective. I, mean, I would have preferred if he punched it backwards and, and it went over for a corner. I, I would have done, I would have preferred that. But he punched it right into Everton's path and then they, and then they, they, they took another shot and he had, to, he had to come big. And then we heard about handball shots. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to give him at least an eight, eight and a half for the clean eight. sheet. Uh, eight, eight and a half. You guys, okay, you, you start. You, you, okay, you start the Mendy rating. No, let us know how you'd rate him. Uh, then I'll ask the people in the chat and see what they uh, what they want to rate him. Eight and a half. Go Who's ahead. next? Eight, eight and a half. Why? Why eight and a half? Well, because uh, I didn't notice anything wrong with him until these guys pointed it out. But, uh, you know, Mendy's looked better yesterday than he has in a very long time. So, you know, I, I'm very encouraged by Mendy from yesterday. Really? Uh, how about you, Rodrigo? How would you rate him? And let us I know give, why, please. Yeah, I give him a six because of the few mistakes that I had. Like, they're not too many, but they were best scary for me. If, if but there was some, was some fine saves from him. Yeah, uh, yeah, he had the fan safe, yeah, yeah. But if Everton had the striker, it would have been a different story. He wasn't confident coming up. Uh, yesterday, one thing I did, I noticed he wasn't doing, he was, we weren't building from the back. He wasn't going long and trying to find the full back. Yeah, he wasn't trying to do that keep good with his feet. So at least he didn't, he didn't, he didn't like, he didn't lose the ball like that. So no, I give him a six. He rolled them out, but that was probably on, on instruction from Tuchel instead yeah. of, you know, Passing it out, he just rolled them out with his hands, and that's okay. Yes, with yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, you're right, you're right, Phantom. Yeah, I saw him rolling up with his hand more often than kicking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, six. I give him a six, six, six. Yeah, okay. And Ty is just as uh, dating as the performance stats for Leicester, uh, and I'm not surprised. That's a way for them to, uh, you know, still reinforce their stance that it's not for sale, that they're willing to keep on it, even if they don't sell him. That's not a problem for them, but that's how I see it. Um, uh, him starting for Leicester is nothing. Uh, that doesn't mean they're not going to sell him. They want to sell him. Uh, but that's, by the way, Ty, your thoughts. And uh, again, how would you rate Mendy and why? Um, I, would, I, would, I, would, I would have to agree with what Rodrigo said. I, I would give him a six. I mean, I mean, he, he wasn't bad. And I mean, we, we give him a six is, is not because he was bad. I, I just think that, you know, he, yeah, he had to make a couple of saves, but he didn't, he was really challenged. I think maybe... The, the opportunity where um, Tarkovsky made that, that header from the corner and he had to tip it over the bar. And then maybe yeah, they... Brilliant, uh, yeah, brilliant save that was. Yeah, that, that's customary. That's When Mendy is at his best, that's a save that you expect him to make because he, he did it with um with Brentford when, with the overhead kick um attempt. Remember that? So, so it's, I'm mm -hmm. not really surprised because that's what he can do. But I, I think based on everything else, he didn't really have much to do for the sole reason like um, Rodrigo was saying that if Everton had a strike, it would have been a whole, whole different story because they would have created more chances. But I, I didn't. I don't really think he had much to do, especially with the defense, because um, Kulabali made a, an interception and he kept they, they kept um, getting the ball back, making tackles and things like that. So he didn't really have much to do because there was not really much of a focal point threat for um, for Everton. So so I'm giving him a six for that reason. Mm. Uh, uh, six. Uh, you could say the people in the chat agrees. Uh, Mendy gets a six. Uh, uh, again, a uh, fifty percent. But let's see. Maybe uh, Bobby oh, thinks otherwise. Bobby, Mendy's performance yesterday. How would you rate him and why? Do we still have Bobby here? I've added him, but we can't hear. We can't hear you, Bobby. If you can hear us, we cannot hear you. Right again. Uh, can you guys hear me? Let, let's, uh, let me be sure. I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Again, guys, uh, if you're watching, we still have 82 people watching, and we have uh, 63 likes. We're closing in. At least let's shoot for 100 likes by the end of the show. I'm not going to ask for 300 anymore, but if we get there, I'd say thank you. But keep liking the video and also do subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I think we've gained nearly uh, 20 subscribers already even though the likes and off, so, but thank you very much. I appreciate that. 50% uh, uh, says a six, uh, and then 41% uh, uh, for eight. 
Uh, again, it dropped a bit, but again, it's 17 likes. I think we'll go for that. Let's go for six. I think that's what uh, most people are going to. Uh, uh, again, a 50, again, back to 50%. So mainly uh, six. Let's do this. At six, okay, Ty, uh, again, if Bobby comes back, he should let me know. Ty, starting with you again, how about um, uh, Cesar Asplequeta? How do, you, how, how do you rate his performance in overall? Um, um, I mean, he started off good, and then he started to, to make a couple of mistakes. I think he gave the ball away like three times. And, um, I mean, he's not the, he's not the same player, and, and I've noticed that recently. And, I mean, it's understandable. And that is why a part of me um, has some concern about him getting two more, uh, a two-year contract because, but yeah, people say he's not going to play a lot of games, but he also wants to go to the World Cup. So I'm not sure, and they have to, they'd have to discuss that. But I think I'd probably have to give um, Aspi maybe a six as well because I, I, I'm not uh, his performance. His performance wasn't bad, but it wasn't impressive. It, it's it's he's starting to to regress in performances and. That is understandable because he's he's thirty plus now, and not everybody is going to be able to do what Silva does. Mm, uh, yeah, again, I think him staying it goes beyond him getting the game time or him being, you know, again, I, it's it's his, uh, you know, he's he's an exemplary professional. Plus, I think we need some measure of consistency from people like him who's been in the team for a while. Again, he has that uh, Chelsea never die mentality. Even though he's not the most vocal of all leaders, but he leads by example. Whenever he's disabled, he gives 100%. And it, the thing about, about him, even leading up to the Champions League final, he had uh, some woeful performances where when I saw me on the pitch that day, I wasn't sure how to feel. But yet he was brilliant in that final. He was, he was brilliant in, in that final. So, yeah, I'm going to try and catch up with the chat and I'll go to everyone. we get to rate him and tell us why they rate him so we need to see our seven at Chelsea, uh, at Chelsea because we have uh, not, uh, we don't have scores. Again, see our seven, I think he stays as Manchester United. From the lineup, we're seeing that he's on the bench uh, for them. And, and we have here, again, let me see what else we have here. Mason Mountain, Kai, uh, Reese, need uh, to wake up next time. I think they will. I think they're a bit, a bit laggy. It's a mentality thing, maybe. I don't know. Maybe they thought it's a game. It's already three points in the bag which I see as an issue, which you could argue that's the reason we have that phenomenon, because it is one, indeed, uh, uh, the phenomenon called, what's it called again, Charity AFC. When we see play against a mid-level or bottom table team, it just seems as if the players feel like, you, you know what, we've won this one and not give it 100%. So, again, I, it's something I hate to talk about, but it, it always comes to mind, given our performances against teams you, you think would win. Uh, in the past, uh, just some in the past, a bit about uh, uh, the Lampard era, uh, John Terry. When we play mid table teams and bottom table teams, you count them as a game we've already won. Uh, but when we play, uh, the, the, you're, con con you're only concerned when we play in uh, top teams like uh, the top, top six teams or the second position teams and all that. But that has since uh, that's why I say it's a mentality thing. But Cho and Timo Werner don't show any confidence when on the pitch. And TT doesn't not trust them either. Again, you wouldn't blame them if they don't show that confidence. Why would the manager trust them? It's as simple as I that. I haven't given my rating yet, coach. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll come to you in a bit, brother. Just give me one second. Harry Kane is a better deep passer than Jorginho. Not joking. You're not joking, and I know that. And that was why I argued if we can actually get Jorginho, but it's, it's impossible to get him. Uh, uh, no, we're not going to be able to get Harry Kane. It's impossible to get him. He's, he's more than just a number nine. He can play as a number 10 because he can pick out some great passes. And he's got great vision too. Uh, but that's, by the way, uh, he has his um, uh, Cucurella is good. Uh, it's good like, and again, yeah, yeah maybe I, uh, that one is difficult for me to understand. Timo is not Chelsea. Timo has been uh, so, again, he's done well for us. Uh, I wouldn't say he's not Chelsea qual quality. Uh, for some factors we've discussed here on occasions, it hasn't worked for him. So I'm just going to go to Bobby, and I saw Jess Viola here. I wanted to say hello to her. And Kim, so I know I have said hello to you. I am definitely watching the Leicester City. Why not? I'm, I'm going to try to go watch it too. Uh, you know, we want to see the man who will paint that much money for. Uh, I think a CR7 will most not likely stay at United. Uh, we don't know. And then uh, for final stats for Leicester, yep, that's not new. To reinforce their stance that they don't want to 
as if they truly don't want to sell him. He's stats. He's a professional. He's contracted to the club until 2027. So I'm not really surprised about that one. Uh, big up to Chilan and panel says the queen of the house. Big up to you too. I hope you're all doing it well. And thank you for finding time uh, to uh, join us here. Again, if, well, again, I'm going to scroll to the very bottom. Again, sorry if I miss any of your comments there. And if I haven't said hello to you, apologies. Uh, Aspie is here, is there for leadership. That's the truth. Ian Mamas, that very well said. Uh, not necessarily because he's going to play too many games. Uh, so, Bobby, your ratings are for uh, Edouard Mendy yesterday and why? Well, do you want my ratings for the whole back line? No, for Mendy. For Mendy, let's take it one by one. Mendy's five. He was shaky yesterday. Okay. There you, he's okay. getting shaky. Five, five you said. And if he's not careful, he's going to lose his spot to Kepa. We're not doing this this season. Yeah, he had one very good save that that Kepa probably wouldn't have been able to save. Apart from that, he was shaky. I didn't didn't inspire any confidence. Looked hesitant. Wasn't sure whether to come, whether to go. Wasn't catching uh, crosses. Nah, he needs to improve. He, steeply, he needs to improve. Yeah, uh, I think I remember when I was arguing. Uh, he needs to do better. Uh, I don't know if it was you who argued that I was being sentimental or, or so again, but some, no, I some argued people... with you mid-season when you were talking about changing the number one. And not not changing, really. Say that, get, that. Put him to the bench to get him to know if he underperforms that someone else can come in, but that didn't happen. For obvious reasons, Tuku doesn't trust Kepa. Not, not for obvious reasons. For some reasons, for some reasons we don't know. That, yeah, again, he doesn't I, think he's tall enough. Funny enough. Maybe. And then, and the it's, uh, he may well leave the club. Centre back, eh? He may well leave the club, but go ahead. Yeah, I mean, Kepa, by the way. And Kepa, I don't know. He doesn't trust his, his physicality as a goalkeeper quite clearly. But at the same time, it's hypocritical. He puts in very short players at, at centre back, um, which is a, a, a complete nonsense in, in the Premier League. So Tuchel has to improve. They all have to improve, and I think they know that. But Mendy didn't play well yesterday. Yes, he had one excellent save that I believe Kepa would have conceded, and this is why Tuchel doesn't trust Kepa. But apart from that, um, he he wasn't. Uh, he didn't inspire any confidence at all. Kepa is actually six one. Is is that is it? Is it? That's not a bad height for a goalkeeper. Not for a goalkeeper in the Premier Mendy, League. How tall is Mendy? Six, six. Yeah, maybe not for a goalkeeper. Let me see. But he's not bad. We've had goalkeepers who uh, judge isn't compass can, uh, shorter than Mendy. Mendy is six four, way taller. Yeah, I mean, Sorry? you can barely get away with being. Yeah, Bobby is coming in and out. I gave Aspi an eight. Again, can you tell us why I want to know? Again, it says there's an in, there's an international break uh, late September. Aspi will be uh, going to World Cup. I, I think he will, but it depends on how many games he played before that time. We, have to, we just have to be honest with ourselves. I know the poll is over, but Mendy is a six uh, for me. I think he got a six too. Uh, again, thank you for contributing. I say uh, Toko needs uh, just to lead up. Uh, Leave not uh took a need to leave, not improve, but it's okay this year. Uh again, uh we'll see. I don't think he needs to leave, he needs time. Yeah, you're you, talking you, about the man that joined you near, I think you could say mid season and got you to six finals and nearly won all of them. If he had the players, uh, if we had signed in the players he wanted, I think he, he, there's a chance he could have done more actually. But that's by the way, that's me and that's my argument. And here's Liam Lane saying yeah, hello uh, to just be honest. Sorry. Sorry? Who do we have gotten if Tuchel, if Tuchel left? Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, I mean, that's managers and, uh, not, again, uh, and we, uh, let's not even talk about losing him yeah. because I'm not sure the new owners will even consider that. So, again, if you're in let's, the side, keep liking up, the video. We have 65 likes. Let's try and get it to at least 100 likes as soon as possible. Uh, so, Bobby, while I'm with you, how do you rate Sazas Mercator? Cesar, I mean, Dave is, is, is losing form, isn't he? The reason he was retained was that he's a long-standing Chelsea skipper. We are in transition and we need somebody to help that transition. 
I mean, mm-hmm. I, I, I'm not buying all this oh, playing for the World Cup, all that nonsense. You're played for, you're playing for Chelsea. You've signed a contract. You're being paid money. You will sit on the bench when you're not good enough for players that are good enough. It's quite straightforward and as simple as that. We're not looking at the World Cup. That's your business. If you want to play in the World Cup, you up your game. If you can't up your game, then you sit on the bench. I mean, I, I don't like all the we 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 faff about so much pandering you know this is serious business don't uh-huh. get this at other top clubs we're pandering to oh, we want to play in the world cup who cares he's just signed a new contract he's not good enough look at how he played yesterday so he's not going to get plenty of game time if he does then it's shame on the players that we will bring in we need better defenders clearly he's got another job he's a bit more of, a, of an ambassador and an, and an encourager in the team than the player. Period. Move on. Next. So how would you rate him? Uh, for, uh, again? Five. Five. Uh, a five for you. Okay. Uh, how about you, Phantom? Go ahead. It looks like you're in a hurry to rate him. Give him tell us why. Five. Why? Well, because if you're giving Mendy a six, then ask me as a five. I mean, I'm, I'm just being, you know, like you, you, we can rate players a little bit higher or a little bit lower. But since we're rating Mendy lower, we're also rating Aspie lower than that. Because Aspie you, you, to you, it's more like a revenge. No, no, no. It's, it, I'm just being consistent because you could, like, for example, when you're grading comic books, two different companies, one can grade higher, one can grade lower, but it needs to be consistent within their own company. So when we're talking about this, um, you if, if you're giving Mendy a six, then Aspie is a five. If you were willing to give Mendy an eight, then I might be willing to give Aspie a six. See, see what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. you, guys, you guys rated Mendy as a six, so Aspie is a five under that kind of condition. Thank you. Are you frozen? I think, I, think, I think he did freeze. Uh-oh. Can you guys still hear me? Yeah, we can. Yeah. And now, but you froze. Uh, okay, Rodrigo, you go ahead. Uh, let us know your written for Cesar Squareta and why. All right. So uh, I think Aspi suffered yesterday because of Rhys James. Because Reese Reese wasn't doing his job. So what what, what happened is Aspi was had two players on him because he, 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 you could see Everton were targeting. So he's the left side or not. Uh, their left, but on our right, they were targeting that side with at least two men. Because Reese, I don't know where he was yesterday. His mind wasn't in the game, so that for because we know we all know Aspie doesn't have the legs. So on top of that, you have some you have a, a wing back that's not helping you. See that affected his game as well. So it's one thing to consider. Having said of that, I think it was a five. I agree with Phantom and, and Bobby. Yeah, it was a five. He was yeah, he wasn't he wasn't he wasn't good enough. But he was he was all right. He wasn't the worst player. But I put most of the blame on Rhys James because he, he, Rhys wasn't tracking his... his uh, he, he wasn't tracking his... Because Everton were marking one, um, one, one, one... It was a 1v1 marking all over the pitch because they were just literally copying our formation. But when you have one player in that 1v1 marking is not doing the job, that leaves one player exposed. And then that was Aspie. That's why he, that's why he looked so bad because of Rhys James. Yeah, so I give him a five. A five? Uh, okay, that's good. Uh, how about you, Ty? Again, before uh, Ty starts, if you're watching, please keep liking the video. We're currently at 65 likes. Let's shoot for at least 100 by the time uh, the show ends. Uh, please uh, help us reach 100. Uh, again, the initial target was uh, 300, but we had some issues probably. Uh, again, um, yeah, I think we'll get there. Thank you very much for all the support. More importantly, uh, just we all say that yes, we need alternative to Fofana in case that doesn't happen. I don't think we have time uh, to start looking at alternatives. Maybe if they're already talking with the alternative in question, uh, we don't know. So if this one doesn't uh, work, it, it, then it is just uh, with, uh, just pay the money and get the, the alternative in question. Uh, but I think we'll still get Fofana. It's looking like we're willing. Uh, to pay the asking price, it's already out there. Maybe throw in a player there uh, to make it work. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Uh, good evening, uh, uh, everyone. Tuko is a great manager, but we should inform him.
to stop playing players at, at, at off their Speaking position. Of. It's hard time. Again, it's hard time we start asking him uh, some questions regarding how he's using them. Uh, I will only start doing that if we, uh, when the transfer with the shots and it's clear that we, we got him the players he wants. If they're still underperforming, then he has some questions to answer. But he still needs time, though. Uh, if you get a new players, he still needs uh, 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 you know, some time to get them to start uh, perf uh, performing as a unit. Yes, you wanted to say something. Oh, I thought you wanted to say something, Rodrigo. Again, but no, that's no, by no. the way. No, no. Esa no. Mana says, Aspi will play you off a Champions League, which is uh, compressed and, 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 and finishes early no in November. Also, a uh, Carabao and two international games. Maybe that will be enough for him to retain his international uh, his international uh, 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 position. But that's by the way. Uh, Bobby, can you just uh, leave the negativity? It's a, it's a Sunday. Here, here's the thing. I think uh, Bobby, uh, to be fair to Bobby, he also said, he stayed for the continue for the papers of the club for the transition period not to cause us more problem. He's gonna get game time. That's the truth. But he's not gonna play as much as most people think he'd play. I get the argument from both of you. Uh, we cannot win uh, the league the way we played yesterday. Um, actually, you could argue that's the hallmark of, of champions. That's the chance the next game you see us firing on all cylinders with, with you see a different animal because that happens every time we play against teams you think. They will mop the floor with us again, but I hope that's the case, and, and that's what I believe will happen. I think will be you see a different Chelsea against a Tottenham. Uh, again, uh, let me see anything here. That's true. Yeah, that's true. That comment is true. Yeah. Ch so, uh, which one are you talking about from Ch Smith, Chelsea, David? Ch yeah, that one. Yeah, because no one mm -hmm. has to call the actual questions. They just they ask stupid questions in a press conference. I always complain about this. Yeah, yeah, we need a right wing back, and Tuko talked about that too. So that's why I think more players will most definitely come in. And Dika is a good left center back, a player. Uh, oh, again, no, the stats of base was was uh, was uh, he what he's one of the best on the field right after can can uh, who uh, if Aspi didn't do his job, who did it? Uh, I'm not sure what you're saying there. Can you elaborate so I can understand what you're saying? Hi, Blues. How are you? Uh, yeah, we're good. We won yesterday. I, I'd say I, my answer would have been different had we lost a game, but I'm happy we won, which is the most pronounced positive, you know, of the positives uh, to take from that game. Uh, but that's, by the way, a tie. Go ahead. You go ahead and rate us as Asper Crater. No, I remember. I, I started it off. I already said six. A six. So I think it's a six because 43% in the chart says a six. So Ty, how about you, uh, 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 Thiago Silva? How, how do you rate Thiago Silva? Oh, Thiago Silva. I think um, Sky Sports gave him man of the match, and I uh, and I and I guess I can agree with that. I mean, he. I mean, without without um, Thiago Silva yesterday, we 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 would have um, probably be sitting twentieth right now in the league. Because I mean. He's he's ah oh man. He, they, they had to they had to check him. They had to um check um for doping. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, so, he, I mean like yeah. I, I, I he did so, did so well. They were going. How can this guy yeah. still play this good in the, at that this is, age? So Go so ahead, Ty. Nice. So that in itself makes him my man of the match as well. I mean, Kanti, but even when when you get to Kanti, I'll give my rating. But um, for me, I'd give Silver Silver the highest rating I, I would give anybody. Um. And and probably I I probably say it was an eight point five. Hmm. How about you? Eight point five for you. How, how about you, uh, Rodrigo? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I agree with that. Silva was a man of the match. I give him an eight point five too. It was uh, unbelievable. I don't this guy. <laughs> and and what made me laugh? I don't know if you guys caught caught ca that caught that clip on um, uh, what's the pandit saying? Silva would have been talked about in the same. Brat has the Baresi, the Maldini. If he's if he won the Champions League, I just laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that. And, and oh, oh, I think Bob, I think Bobby, Bob, I think Bobby mentioned Who it. Who was it? Abo, Abo. Yeah. I think it was Jamie, Jamie Regnaf. Yeah. That's not the first time. Wasn't he the one that said something called uh, 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 said something about Victor Moses being a young English player? <laughs> yeah. Wasn't he the, the same guy? Yeah. <laughs> Just go ahead. Yeah. So oh my. Man of the match, eight point five. But do you know what annoys me sometimes? 
when it, when we dominate, we have six percent of the ball, but you, one of the matches you sent it back. It hurt me when I see stat like that, man. Ah, oh, come on, Chelsea, come on. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, you have six percent of the ball, but you're man of the match. We and we, and it's not like oh yeah, he's actually man of the match, and he's a, he's a centre back. <laughs> oh come on, fix up, fix up, Mount and and Kai. Come on, you guys need to fix up, man. Yeah. So your rating? Eight point five. Like uh, eight point five. How, how about you, Phantom? But before Phantom comes in, I'm gonna share uh, uh, the link to a short I created. I think the, the reasons why I think we can still win uh, the link. The league, what? pay attention. Can I say can? I did not say Ooh. will. No, 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 no. You, no, you just you surprised me because I didn't expect you to say that. that yeah, we, pay that attention. I said we still can. Uh, we still can. Yeah, that's, that's what we can win. Yeah, really. I use the word can. So I'm going to share the link, uh, and it is just 17 seconds. Uh, even if you cannot watch it now, uh, please go, uh, you know, and uh, drop a like on it again. Make sure to watch it later, even 10 times if you want, just to help me to let um. Uh, uh, you know, uh, send a message to the YouTube algorithm that we make a short videos right now. Again, we have still have 84 people watching and we have 68 likes. Uh, the likes are slow to go up today, but I know we'll get there. Just 32 more to get to 100. So if you haven't, uh, please take a second to drop a like on the video and also do subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So I'm going to share the link uh, to the um, short video. I want I want you to go drop a like for me on. Uh, so go ahead, Rodrigo. Sorry, have you finished or is it Tyson? Yeah, I did. I, did. I said 8.5. I said 8.5. Okay, okay. Ty you go ahead. No, I remember. I was the one that started. Oh, was it Phantom? Phantom? Okay, Phantom. Yeah, it was you. Okay. I'm going to give him a 7.5 and that's based on the Mendy 6. <laughs> so so there, you... Okay. 7.5 for you. Low <laughs> So I'm just gonna lowball the number. Yes, I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm falling asleep, so I, I have to go. I mean, I'm I'm really like falling asleep. So all I'm right, sorry. bro, go get your rest. We'll talk later. Uh, how about you, uh, Bobby? Yeah, Bobby, are you still um, with us? Thiago Silva, uh, yeah, go ahead. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For me, Thiago Silva, I'm giving him a nine. And why I'm doing that is that this is an old man. He's the best centre-back we've got at the moment. He was drug-tested after the game. He had to miss the Chelsea plane and take a three-and-a-half-hour car journey back to London. Thiago Silva is the ultimate professional. Coupled with that, he was insulted on Sky Sports by Jamie Redknapp and the co-host, uh, what's her name? Katie Kate, what that woman even knows about football, I don't know. These are the people that bring down Sky Sports, waste our money as subscribers, and give us dross with their disingenuous uh, talk about Chelsea and disrespect to the club. You know, say, no, he hasn't won the Champions League. How dare you? Someone should come out and say this guy hasn't played for England and see how he likes and they will, it. And they will no, still bring him back on the panel to another day. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, this is the thing. That, that Chelsea agenda continues. But I give Thiago Silva a nine. He had the same preseason as everybody else. And look at his conditioning. Going on 38 years old. And he's running. He's fit. He's better, more stronger than your Reese James that are half his age. Mason Mount, Kai Havertz, all these people that their conditioning is very disturbing. I can understand that we're still getting together as a team. But they don't look fit at all. And there's no excuse for it. Look at Thiago. That's the example. Nine what what are they learning from him? Are they are you actually learning anything from me? Are they paying attention? If you have somebody like him in the dressing room, you should be asking him too many questions. How are you able to do it and learn from him? Well, that's left to be seen, isn't it? Because if he, if he retires from this club and none of them, you know, Again, we, 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 I'm, I'm going to ask asking them questions. Yeah, Ty, go ahead. We, we would be in the championship if we didn't have Silver. The amount of yo, the, 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 the way Silver, no, that, I don't remember who to, who was going to take a shot. I just see Silver just, just slightly running. I, I just puts all his foot and the ball just hits his foot and he goes. Yep. He and had it. he not done that, I think they would be face to face with our keeper. Yeah. That's, again, again, I, I think. His intelligence is his most prized asset. It's not his pace. It's not Silver's pace. 
it's not his physicality, it's his intelligence, how he is able to read the game. And there's no sort of player you'd bring up that he hasn't played against. So he's able to an anticipate their next move. And we're happy to have him. Look at him. At, how old is he again? 38. <laughs> <laughs> in September. September. Believe me, it looks like uh, give me a 38 year Thiago Silva, I'll take him because it's looked like the older he is, the better he gets. That's just the thing. Uh, Collington says we'll also be looking out for a Frankie the Young alternative as well. I am very concerned about our midfield. I am really concerned. I've heard somebody, a friend of mine and a brother, argue we don't need midfielders who, who can create. No, we need midfielders who can create, who have good vision. Uh, maybe it looks like something isn't quite right with Koba. Maybe he's carrying a knock. Even in preseason, he didn't play that much. And it's not a case him falling out with the manager. I know he's a good prof he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, uh, he's a good professional. So maybe he's not uh, quite full of feet. Goodison Park always been a nightmare. It's not, it's not been a good hunting park, uh, uh, hunting ground for us, but we overcame that last night. Uh, the last time we won there was in 2017. So, yeah, that's... Uh, a uh, positive to take from that again uh says uh silver 67 and 76 uh, pass uh, again uh four uh goal blocks and the four six one v one uh, stops again he's that good he's that good uh, right now again i'm not he's a clown okay yeah i'm frustrated at him i think every time you see those gaps on t on live tv i said the victor the, the victor moses one comes to mind if you remember that uh, again silver Nine, don't deal in point five again. Uh, 88 ball contact, ball contacts again. That's that's high for me in the Cristiano Ronaldo links to Chelsea for real. I don't think it's real. I, I think we've looked, we're looking beyond him right now. I am given all defenders an eight because it, it, it was a clean sheet. It makes sense. I think they did well, uh, overall. Again, uh, the, 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 the times that Everton had the opportunity to come at us, uh, were because they were further forward trying to support the attack. And that's because the attackers and the midfielders didn't really do their job. Uh, they just, the young go, uh, uh, go to uh, PSG, Pajera, Romero. Okay, if they're going to pay that much money for him, we'll see. But I think Barcelona wouldn't risk it. I think we'll have the upper hand because they want a player from us. Uh, heading out to dinner, talk tomorrow on the Blue Morning, Coachella. Enjoy the rest of the of the stream. Thank you very much. Well, we'll see the, you. The upper end is gone. The upper end is gone because Alonso is going, is going anyway for for like an abysmal fee. So we don't have an, any upper hand in this deal. The only thing we're waiting oh, is... So young. is he living already? So, yeah, so is he really gone. what Gerard Romano you is know, saying? Is it really that PSG wants Frankie the Young? I don't, I don't know about PSG. Yeah, they always, just saying, okay, they can, and, we can, and they can always offer him any ways they, they want. Yeah. Sorry, Ty. Did you say what? Uh, remember, he's earning what is it, four hundred thousand a week at Barcelona, and I mean PSG are able to offer him any wages they want to because of their financial really? strength. Yes, well, but the the, the, the the whole narrative, and, and I and I was even saying this myself, is that Chelsea will not push for him until they got a yes that he wants to leave. So we're hearing back and forth things about. Chelsea, he, he's going to go to Chelsea from Gerard Romero as well. I know we're here in PSG. I think I think he's just messing with with people right now because because he people people are starting to give him kudos for what he, for him being right about about all the, the praise that that um that Barcelona got that that people did not believe they would. So he's saying things, and I mean you can believe what you want to believe because he's he was the same one that said that if Frankie Young does not join Chelsea, he's going to stop streaming for three days. So. I think I think he's just messing with people. I know if he doesn't leave, he didn't say Chelsea. Say and, and maybe maybe some of us didn't pay good attention to what he said. Actually, let me read through. Maybe that will help us understand uh, what's going on here. He says, uh, "You all want uh, yeah." Lee Len I feel says, "You all want the best for Chelsea, but you still want average players like Ruben Loftus-Cheek, uh, Callum hudson Doyle, Gallagher, Kai at Chelsea." Uh, try to be sincere. Um, none of us are fighting to keep those players. We're just having a conversation here or, or debate, if you prefer. And we haven't actually talked about whether those players should stay or go or not. Uh, uh, Lala says that's not true. Gerard said it was a rumor. It is not a chance yet. Okay, so that's fantastic. just the truth. And I don't that, think... I was wondering, because that, that would mean that Gerard Romero is contradicting himself. 
Yeah, and here's the thing again. Uh, uh, here's the thing. Uh, I don't think PSG would do that. They have a blotted salary, salary range right now because you, you, you could argue when they're trying to let some players go to reduce that. Yeah, plus he's going to be up for 80 million plus, plus his salary. I don't think they would do that. It, it's, it's something that I don't think they would try. But again, that's my argument. Silva was, was a, a bit a better than Cooley. Both eight are for you. Okay. And, and uh, Bum Fadingo here says uh, Everton is one of our bogey teams. That's the truth in the, in the EPL. And I am surprised as some of these uh, Chelsea fans are yet to recognize that. Let's give the boys uh, some credit. Uh, in the sense, we got to win. It was a professional performance overall. I have to give him that. And I did say that Fabrizio Romano has just uh, now ret uh, uh, retweeted his post about uh, Hudson Adoy leaving, uh, which means it's looking, uh, it's going to happen. Again, if you're watching and if you haven't, please do take a second to like the video. Uh, we're approaching 100. Right now, we need uh, 300, uh, we need 39 more, 39 more likes to get to 100. Let's get it to at least 39 likes. Again, I told you we'll be starting a new show. It's very conversational. There's gonna, there's not gonna be any leading host. It's a freestyle talk about Chelsea. Any comment? It's more like the conversations you have in a bar. Again, the plan is to call it the blue convo. Maybe I'll change that, and that's a chance it starts today also. But that's by the way. Um, again, we've uh, we can agree this one here. Uh, fifty-five percent says an eight. So let's give him an eight. Let's try and complete the rating as soon as possible. If you have any transfers to talk, we we'll do that. I know some of us would want to go watch games. Uh, anything else am I missing? Anything else? I think I've read that one from it's Kami. Uh, so for the left uh, uh, center back position, uh, Ty, let me start with you. Your rating for him. Uh, Ty, are you there? Have you left? Let me start with you, Rodrigo, since Ty isn't speaking. Your rating of Wokulubali. Kulibali, as good, he was almost my man of the match. His Siwa wasn't that amazing. So Kulibali would get, would get an eight. I should have given Silva a nine. Uh, Kulibali, eight. He was, oh, he was good. He was good. What I like about Kulibali and what I hope I miss for the should do is someone that can break the, can break the line. He, he was mm -hmm. part of the lines. This is something like a midfielder should be able to do. I, I, we're such a backward team where our best players are the three centre backs. It's like if you, the three at the back, if you flip it, you put it at the top. So the three at the back are actually better than the three at the top. This is, oh my God, this team. <laughs> Kulibali was, un, was really good. I, obviously, I think the pace of the league, that's why he pulled up the cramp toward the end of the game. Because uh, he needs to adjust, but my God, he's smart. He's a very, he's a very smart person. And, he, and there was one run where he went to the box. Obviously, that's the only mistake he did, where he tried to do a route. Huh? But because it's not like no one was able to cover him um, when he went for that bursting run in the box, and he lost the ball. That led to the that led to the misunderstanding between Silva and uh, Mendy when he should have come and cleared the ball. And, yeah. That's the only mistake Kulibali did, but apart from that, it was it was impeccable. His passing, his distribution, his guys. Oh, even the and, way and you see you see where experience it comes in. Yeah, on he occasions, used... Everton players they had the chance to counter us, and he followed yeah. the player and fouled him. It's yeah, experience. Yeah, yeah. He didn't even get he didn't even get cut. <laughs> yeah, and he knew he had to stop him, and There's he one... did it so smoothly. The no. referee didn't see that to give him no. a card. No. That's experience. He knew yeah. he had to stop him because if he didn't, he's yeah. out of position and there's nobody covering him. And they'd come and score against us. So that's that's what yeah. you see. Uh, was it Fernandinho for Manchester for City? One, yeah. There's one. There's his one, uh, his yeah. best attribute is com is committing tactical yeah. fouls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's one. Uh, he does there's that. One yeah. Go ahead. Sorry, there was one phase of play. It was in midfield, and there was two Everton players pressing him. And the way he wriggled past those two, I don't know if you guys remember that. It was in it was in midfield. He had the ball, and then he did that. He did, he did like a, he did a nice dribble past two Everton players, and then released the ball to uh, I think it was Kante or, or Jorginho. I don't remember, but that that just showed me like oh, the the, the experience and the calmness because I thought he was gonna lose the ball there, and he just yeah. 
good. Yeah, good. I think it, it was it was a good debut for him. Ty, if are you back with us again? Uh, we have seven still have yeah, seventy one people yeah, watching, was, yeah, and was, we have uh, seventy one likes. Let's try and get it to a hundred likes. We need just uh, twenty nine more to get it to a hundred likes by the time the show we're done with the rating. I think we'll get done when we're done with the rating because people, some people aren't here because they're watching the game. So Ty, your rating of Kulubali. Oh, uh, my rating for Kulubali, um, because I said um, Silva has been mad at the match, and I, was, and I gave him an 8.5, obviously the averaging is 8. I would just have to give him um, maybe an 8. Mm. Yeah, I, I think the average you could say is an eight. What what did you call him, uh, uh, um, uh, Rodrigo? Uh, eight, eight as well, eight. Okay, I'm gonna come to you guys immediately. I think the the the, the poll shows eight. Also, how about uh, the two sixes? Let's start with uh, let's say Kante on the left. Let's say Kante here. Even if he was on the right, it doesn't matter. But we know uh, he was one of the two sixes. Uh, how would you rate him, Ty, and why? Um, I would, I mean, he started off good, but then he, he started to lose the ball easily and everything. I don't think Kante's has been the same in a while. I'd probably have to give him a seven. Hmm. Hi, how about you, Rodrigo? Yeah, it was good. It, it, it was good at the beginning. He was helping us winning the ball. He was nicking the ball off the Everton players easy. And then our great toward the end of the game, uh, yeah, he was he, he wasn't offering us an, enough when we when we were in attack. Like some some sometimes his passing was not good, but it was yeah, it was in the first uh, in the first half it was good. It was good. I can see what a few times he was trying to link with Sterling as well. Uh, yeah, it was. I'll give him a seven. I'll give him a seven. Yeah, can't. I have to be honest with you. For me, I'd say if it wasn't for Kante, we'd, we'd have a much worse game. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, there are some crucial breakup plays, you know, that, that he orchestrated that helped us uh, survive the onslaught. Because, again, it's not like they, they dominated us, but they had a few good chances. You could like to kind of help to break them up. One was a brilliant, just uh, the Ty explained how Trogo Silva uh, threw his leg. You know, he made like he was going to run with the, the player that had the opportunity to pass the player running towards our goal. Then sticks, it stick, it stuck his stick. Uh, he did stick his leg out to stop that from reaching the player. He basically did what what Van Dijk was trying to do in the Champions League final. Mm -hmm. and, and what what Maguire tried to do and looked like an idiot. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I think it's against bro. <laughs> yeah. So again, uh, but that's by the way, uh, he's a brilliant player. Let me see what the chat thinks about him. But I'll move on. How do you guys rate uh, Jorginho? Uh, for me, I would say again a uh, uh, four. That's me. Yeah, I would give yeah. him. I would give him his shirt number five. Yes, I would give him a five because I don't think he was our worst player. Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, who? How many people? There? Oh, can't take a seven of people in the chat. So sorry about that. So I'm gonna make it seven. And you say Jojinho for you say Jojinho how how many? Five. Five. Ty, how about you? Yeah, his shirt number, five. Yeah, he was awful. If you're in the chat, if you agree, Jorginho should be rated five. Please do let me know. Uh, again, I, I like Jorginho so much. Uh, I think he's, he's pivotal to the way we play, but sometimes you can see he's also detrimental to, to the team's success. Uh, given that when you pressure him too much, sometimes he just gets confused and not sure what to do with the ball. Uh, but maybe I'm not, again, uh, yeah. Yeah, seven for Kante for people in the chat. So we could say to Jinho, uh, uh, to me, I'll say five. If what? you're in the chat, just type it. Let's not waste too much time with the poll. Uh, how would you rate a Jorginho's five? Yeah, and one thing I think we need to start taking advantage of, because teams tend to put a, a one man or two people on Jorginho pressing really hard. Maybe we should take advantage of that because they're in balance in other areas. Maybe then we can have an extra someone that can come in and I don't know how they can do it, but to you to take hey, that. Can you say that again? You know how teams like even yesterday you could see how uh, they target Jorginho. Yeah, because they know to Jorginho is such an easy midfielder to target. All you have to do you press him aggressively. But if you do that, you leave you leave you leave holes in your team, right? That's why yeah, it's a risk, a huge risk. Yeah, that's why Mason Mount, if he's in form, 
or someone or I don't know a, if he's playing a Gallagher that can use that the space that one because if the, you're playing two midfield you commit one to just literally follow Jorginho to the toilet and you leave you leave space behind. So we need our attackers to be smart to notice that and to use the the, the space left behind by the the, the opposition team. Because yeah, we can use that again. Yeah, 6.5, Joe the boy. If you're in the chat, let us know. I think mostly five. Five wins it. Uh, I, <clears throat> again, let me see. Sorry, Jorginho, you were still saying something. No, 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 it's fine. Uh, uh, yeah, it's five, five, five. Yeah, yeah. yeah unfortunately for <laughs> for who, uh, uh, Joy the boy, I think most people doesn't don't, don't look. Again, he scored the goal, but he was really awful, if you ask me. Both Lante and Cole were on the bench for... Uh, uh, for Brighton over Albion uh, today, maybe uh, be playing later. We'll see what's, what's the issue with Lamptey. I think he had a, a long term injury layoff, so he's back now. Probably they're trying to ease in him, uh, ease him in gradually. Watch, if you're watching the game, just watch the way Brighton play. One of the best, one of the best team in the bottom half. The way they play the football is uh, is unreal. I'm always I'm always envious of Brighton. You know what? I'm always envious of the way they play. Even they don't score enough goals because their attackers are... Uh, Probably they don't have the quality, but Grant yeah, Potter is proven to be a good manager. The, the pattern of play is, yeah, is, is top class. It's one of the best I've seen in, in the league. They're not afraid yeah. to against against anyone. <laughs> yeah, uh, Rodrigo, while I'm still with you, what's your rating for Rhys James? Rhys James was poor. Very, very poor. The reason Aspie was exposed today was because of Rhys James. So I give him a, a four. I give him a four. He was... Ty, how about you? Rhys James? Four. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to. <laughs> I know you don't like when I do this, but... Uh, he was less than a six. Six divided by 24, four. So I'm going to give him a four, two. You give him a four? Yeah, I give him a four. Six, yeah, I think he was divided four. By 24. 24 divided by six is four, so I'm going to give him a four. Yeah, how about you, uh, Rodrigo? Yeah, I've already said four. He, he exposed Aspi. Yeah, he wasn't good at all, at all. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so if you're in the chat, let us know. Let me just ask him this one. Four for Reese. I think we got, we'll have one four. That's four people. Let me see. If you're in the chat, let us know how would you rate the Reese James's performance yesterday. Let me just maybe quickly ask it. If, if that changes, then I'll change it. But let me add four. He had written 4.5, but the average now is four. So let me ask those in the chat. Why, Rodrigo? I want you to let, let me know uh, how you rate it uh, again. Uh, yeah. You, uh, Chile, his, yeah, his Chile. performance yesterday. Uh, I give him a, he won the penalty, but I give him a four as well. He was falling over like, <laughs> he was falling like Pulisic. Like no one around him, he just he just falls. He wasn't controlling the ball, wasn't passing it. Uh, yeah, he wasn't good at all. I give him a four. Yeah, a four oh. for Chile. Yes, I wasn't impressed. Uh, Ty, you're rating for Chile. Uh Chile, Chile was was a four. To be fair, it was a four. Yeah, wasn't really impressive. He won the penalty, so that's good. Good, good um idea to you know, to go into to get into that position and everything, but he wasn't the greatest, and, and that's understandable. I, I I wasn't expecting him to come back all guns blazing and scoring scoring a, a overhead kick or something, but it, it's just it's just it just shows why it's important that we brought in somebody who who we can rely on, um for the left wing back position. So you said a four. What what number? What, how do you rate him, Ty? You then say okay. Yeah, four. Great. Uh, four. Okay, Bobby. How about you? How do you rate our uh, um that uh, Ben Chilwell's performance yesterday? Bobby's not on the panel, is he? Stage. I haven't added him. Oh, sorry, no. Bobby. Yes, sorry, <laughs> you left me. Go ahead, Bobby. Driving and um... coach, are you in the matrix? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> Bobby, go ahead. How would you rate up? <laughs> Uh, ben Ben Chilwell's performance. Chilwell, I'll give a three because he won the penalty. That's it. I know there's a reason for his poor performance, but that doesn't take away from the fact it was a poor performance. It caused us a lot of problems. He was giving away balls. He was 
running themselves himself down blind alleys and not knowing how to get out. So that was a three performance, even though he has uh, mitigating circumstances. Okay, a three. So now the average for Chile is four until I find out what, what those in the chart uh, thinks. Uh, for those in the chart, I think they think uh, Rhys James deserves a six, 57%. So I'll give Rhys James, change Rhys James is to six. Uh, again, if you're watching, keep liking the video. And if you haven't, do subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for all the support. We're going to finish this and we'll call it a day. R James, I'm going to change it to six. And I'll find out what those in the chart uh, thinks about uh, Chile also. But that... Um, let's move. I give uh, but, James a five, by the way. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah around that number. But again, but those in the chart thinks he gets a six fifty-seven percent overall. That he got one of seven corners. Now they counted that, and it, how we did not score a single goal for uh, the amount of corners we had yesterday. I think you could argue that was when uh, why we saw Thomas Tuchel something that seemed as if he was arguing with Anthony Barry, who you who we know uh, he's the guy that trains the team for set piece. Maybe they changed something and whatever this they've changed it to hasn't worked. Uh, who started on the left here? It was Mount, right? Yeah. Okay, Mount. Uh, so, Bobby, you're rating for Mount. Oh, boy, I don't want to hear it. Uh, Mount is a four. Oh. Very, very poor game. His worst game. Condition is bad. Maybe he has reasons for that, but performance-wise, he's a four. Mm. How about you, Rodrigo? Yeah, Matt Man was... Uh, uh, I struggled to give him any higher than a four. Uh, yeah, there's mixed against circumstances as well for him. Not fully fit. He wasn't able to do what Man does. So when Man doesn't do what he does, the high energy, the pressing, he, some, some, sometimes it's difficult for him. So I give him... Um, yeah, I give him a four. Four. Ty, how about you? Yeah, um, he was, he was, he was nearly non-existent. I for, I forgot he was even playing until like until he had that opportunity to take a shot. It was one of the one of the worst um games that I've seen Mason Mount have in recent years, and it, it shocked him because I mean he he's a player that I, w I was expecting to at least cause some trouble, and especially against Lampard, I was. I was expecting him, you know, to you know to, to make a statement or something, but I, I mean it wasn't the most ideal game. So I'd probably have to give him a four as well. I think a four for now until we hear what those in the chat has to say. I think we've all rated him tight. Let me start you with uh Raheem Stalin. How do you rate him? Uh yeah, um, I like I like the positivity first before we go to the negative. Um Sterling, he was he was good. He was he was trying. He was you could see that he was the only one really trying in the attack. I mean, like like I made reference to it before. He made a pass, and you know he 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 had a realization that oh I'm not at City anymore. They're not gonna make those passes for me. And I mean, he made a pass. He made a run. Nobody was here to meet him. We went backwards, and he raised his his hand. I think Jorginho at one point, Jorginho raised his hand, apologizing to Sterling. So I mean, he was he was trying, but you could see that he needs some support in the attack. He was the only one who was actually doing something, trying to 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 um create something, trying to get a goal. And unfortunately, you know, he was offside. He could have gotten a goal in his debut, but. It is where it is. He had a good performance. I'd probably have to say that he's just behind Silva and Kulabali, and I'd, I'd probably have to give him an eight. Mm -hmm. uh, an eight for, for Stalin. Uh, how about you, uh, Rodrigo? I was going to say the same thing, and somebody took it for me. He says the chat is crazy. How can Chile get a six? Uh, probably because he got us a, a penalty, and the chat has nine votes, so probably more people think he gets. Uh, <laughs> he gets a six. It's uh six to seven percent. That's a surprising to me. Uh, but that's by the way, yeah, I get it. Um, he gets a six uh for for Chile. Uh, so I'm going to change the Chile uh, to six instead of four. Uh, again. The... <laughs> oh my goodness, uh, Bobby, how about you for Raheem Sterling? Yeah, Sterling is an eight. He played well on his proper debut. Looked lively, looked threatening, lacked support from midfield. Yet again, we continue singing the midfield song. No support to the attack, no cover for the defence. 
don't know what they're doing there. Um, yeah, um, Kante, yeah, he does what Kante does, which is very good. But the lack of that uh, CDM uh, is showing. And, you know, and also perhaps the lack of somebody to do what Kovacic does is, is showing. Uh, but yes, uh, an eight out of ten for Sterling. You can't really fault it. Yeah. Uh, how about you, uh, Rodrigo? Have you spoken about Sterling? No, no, I don't think so. No, Sterling was our best player in attack, and I'm I'm torn between seven or eight. Yeah, he was he was good. He did. He was he was leech. He was a one man show in attack. He didn't have any support from Jorginho or Kante. They weren't finding him. Yeah, I give him an eight. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll give him an, an eight to on tweet. Get the opinion of those in the chat. Maybe that changes. I uh, Rodrigo Hollands too. Which let's start you with the number nine man, Kai Harvard. Your thoughts, please yeah, be fair. Kai, Kai was very, very poor. He's oh, it's very, was <laughs> yeah, Javert. Yeah, just call him that. <laughs> that doesn't deserve to be called by the pro name. <laughs> That's how bad he was. <laughs> he doesn't mm. deserve to be called Kai Harvard after that. It was bad. It was yeah, non-existent. It's like it's language, like no energy, nothing. It's like he, he, if you tell me Thiago Silva and Harvard who's thirty-eight, I'll tell you Harvard is thirty-eight. The way he play, he play like a thirty-year-old, year old, and Thiago play like a twenty-two-year-old. That's that's how bad he was yesterday. So I give him a three. Uh, a three for who? Harvard. Yeah, three. Yeah. Okay. How about it, Ty? Yeah, my mic is just not on this thing. Um, yeah, I, 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 I would honestly give him a three. It's disappointing because I, I'm a big fan of Havertz, but Havertz has not been impressive recently. He's 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 starting to look like a. I don't know say this, but he's starting to look like a flop, and. It's, it's it's disappointing. He he's not physical enough. He gets taken out easily, and I have to say this: he was lucky that he didn't get sent off for that um that 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 tackle on on Ben Godfrey because we've seen in the Premier League that you know when it check VAR, they'll do it in slow motion. Mm, but he was the one with the ball, and the Everton player was the one who put in oh, the tackle. Uh, Ty tried no, to we, keep even kick off the, the ball, but go ahead. Even in the Premier League, no, I'm talking about the the collision in terms of because he he he's technically broke his foot because they the he literally um we call it, I don't want to say crushed it but like his he, his his foot was literally wrapped around Betty Godfrey's foot and then the collision um was bam and then that, that's why he broke his and that's why um Ben Godfrey broke his foot and we've seen that in the Premier League when when they check VAR and they do it in slow motion and we know that it looked worse in slow motion. They did give a red card. So yeah, he had the ball, and then he was trying to to take a dive um kick across. But I mean, the collision itself it, it's it's accidental. But we've seen that even in that case in the Premier League, it's a red card. So he was lucky that you know they didn't check it to say it was a red card or anything. They just ensure that the play was alright because he was down for for practically eight minutes. Yeah, I, I, after rating Kai Havertz, I I really want us to talk about this. Uh, where's this one? Uh, this one here. What's one? Uh, something. No, no, no. Uh, something about Stalin winning a penalty, but the ref was blind. I think for me that was a penalty to me too. Where? How did I miss yeah. it? I uh, was impressed with Stalin. And they they, they, know, they, they wouldn't have given it to me because they know that that's that he he, he loves to, to to go down. Any little touch, he he he, he takes a dive. Okay, so he, to he, you for, for to you tie is four, right? Kai is four. Yeah. Ty, you give uh, Ty give uh, Kai a four. That's right. I like it. Uh, well, Bobby, how about you? How would you rate Kai Havertz? Yeah, I won't give him less than uh, Mason Mount. I, I think they're both as bad as each other. Um, I think mm. I gave Mount four, so Kai gets four. Um, conditioning, you know, I'm watching Man United and Brighton now. The players look far better conditioned. You know, I can excuse incoherence because of, well, we only had two new signings on that pitch, apart from when Cucurella came on. But um, that conditioning is, 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 is not acceptable. I, I don't see what they did. I mean, they, they had the same preseason as Thiago Silva and everybody else. Yes, 
they traveled a lot, but these are young men. Um, you know, they 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 were being trained, and I, I don't find that acceptable. Going to bar, going to bar Sorry? too, going going to, going to clubs and drinking. That's why, yeah. Yeah, I, I heard that too. Well, that's that's another well. topic for another day. Yeah, I mean that that becomes shameful and highly unprofessional. Look, um, yet again, the manager has to take some responsibility. I mean, why play him? You've got Ziyech on the bench. I, I don't understand that. The whole team needs to do better, that's for sure. But Kai Havertz is nothing better than a four. And in terms of that penalty, yes, it was a clear penalty against Sterling. But yet again, the Chelsea factor comes in. They won't give it because they don't want to give it and not, no other reason. Hmm. Yep, again, uh, two for Kai. Again, MCIJ. He says, big up, Coachella. Big up to you too, uh, brother. He says, uh, and Bobby, uh, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. It's been a minute, but thank you uh, for coming back. I hope you're doing well, and I really do mean that. Uh, it's Kami. says, I think the fact we won the game has saved these uh, players' ratings. It has. It would have been like zeros. Had <laughs> we had lost James Havat and Mount would all uh, drop uh, to two ratings, and even worse, Again, overall, I give it to them. It was a professional performance. They weren't all, all up to par, but we did enough to win it. Uh, could have had the second goal, and I wish Stalin, Stalin he scored that goal. But once uh, the positive, again, uh, is Stalin, he makes a summer beautiful, excellent runs. If we can find him, he'd get us more goals. Uh, but that's, by the way, now we, we have to rate some other players uh, that came in. Uh, let's rate uh, here. Let's rate, uh, what's his name? Let's read uh, Cucurella. My man. Changed a lot when he came in. You can see his intelligence. Then again, uh, I was so happy. And let me start with you on Cucurella, Bobby. How would you rate him? Yeah, I'm going to give Cucurella a, a nine. I'm going to be really generous because I thought it's brutally unfair. Of, of Tuchel. I've been very critical of Tuchel on this stream because I think, you know, he, he's doing some silly things and he needs to be called out. I'm not Tuchel Go, of course not. These managers will have dips in forms as well and this is his dip. What he did yesterday was ridiculous. Why play Cucurella when you've got Emerson that you took on on, on tour and pre-season, where is he? He wasn't even on the bench. I don't even understand that. Um, you know, what are you doing? Cucurella was excellent when he came on, but he's only had half a, half, well, not even up to half a training session. He played so, like he's played with the team like forever. Well, you know, that that's his own craft, you know, his own ability. You know, I, I thought it was really unfair. I thought it was disgraceful, desperate uh, coaching, desperate managing. And we don't want to see that this season. We're a top, top club. We don't want this makeshift uh, uh, um, uh, uh, pushing players, uh, overplaying players, putting role players in the wrong position. No, this is why we're, we're hoping and screaming at the new owners to, to saturate the, the, the team with, with quality players. And this is why we're not taking nonsense this season. Yet, um, you know, Timo's gone. Great. I'm still waiting for Barclay to go. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Sar's gone. Um, you know, we need to offload the dead wood and, and discipline these players. You don't play well, you sit on the bench. We are Chelsea Football Club. We're paying your wages. You know, damn you. I don't want this crap anymore. And Tuchel himself, you know, what he did to to um, to uh, Cucurella was just grossly, grossly unfair. And I don't think it's right. So nine. Yeah, it's it's the thing, Bobby. I agree with you. Uh, but the truth is, I wouldn't call it unfair right now. Maybe to me, to me, I would say it's a bit sentimental. If really, uh, Chelwell was the one that convinced him that he's ready to start. If it's a verbal, if 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 uh, Chelwell starting was in fact due to a, you know a, you know a, a, a communication, verbal communication between him and Thomas Soko, then that's being a sentimental, really. Because why go through the process of get to making sure Cucurella was registered and ready to be, being, uh, that is, uh, in, in, what was going to be part of the squad the next day, we, and then have him on the bench. And as bad as Benchero played, he shouldn't have finished the first half. Look how many minutes. On the two minutes, we're able to see how in, intelligent of a player Cucurella 
he is and what the signing he'd be for us. And the money we paid actually is worth it. Oh, yes. I mean, I'm not into all this, oh, too much money, too much money. You want the best, you pay the best. And you're very, very right. You know, he, he showed his quality. You know, a lot. we played like we're still in pre-season yesterday. And in truth, we're still in pre-season. And that's the annoying thing, because at the very least, the conditioning of the players could have been taken care of. That's what I can't forgive. You know, I the, the coercion, the systematic play, and things, okay, I can understand that because we've had some problems with our, our transfer window, but the conditioning, there's no excuse. So this mm -hmm. week is a big week. You know, we, we need to sort that right out. We can't do this this season. No, we can't. Yeah, uh, in life, no limits. Say good day, my people. Big up, Kuchila and the partner. Big up to you too. I hope you're doing well. I say seven for Kukurela, a uh, seven, uh, uh, Seven and a half, seven eight uh, for Joe Wax. Uh, it's can be. What are you talking about? I'm confusing a bit. Uh, I'm confused a bit. Cuckoo seven because uh, he came off the bench and look what an impact he had. And it, it one thing I learned immediately when he was on the pitch, I paid attention. You can't limit him. Even you think you've blocked his passing lanes, he finds he creates one on by himself. And I'm going to repeat myself again. What he adds so much pace to his passes that even if you think okay, you've seen it, you can stop it before you get to the ball, the ball reaches its intended destination. Even when he was passing across the midfield, the same there was pace in it, and he, again, you just can't stop him. And that's the issues we've had in, in the past when teams press us yeah. aggressively, we find it difficult to find uh, you know the most viable passing lanes by ourselves. We end up booting the ball forward or going backwards, but he was still able to progress the ball by finding the slightest of spaces and ensuring he finds a teammate. That moved me, and, and seriously, I loved it. MCIG Rams Cucurella uh, for eight, and here not sure if this is, uh, uh, has been discussed, but can someone explain uh, to me why Tuko played Broya on the left and Stalin? In the middle, why are uh, uh, players? Uh, this is not an out, out of the out of position issue. It's about fluidity, and the Broya showed he can actually uh, he can actually play there quite comfortably. So you sh that shouldn't be a concern to you. Uh, uh, if it's not able to do that, then he doesn't have a place in the team. Then he's a traditional number nine. And if you're expecting to be a starter or to start plenty of games. If you if you believe you're traditional number nine, you you don't have a chance under Thomas Tuchel. So the good thing is that even when he was on the flank, he did well. And and again, I don't think yeah, like I think Ty, you're saying that's not true because at one point we actually saw him centrally. I didn't say that. I'm saying I was saying that this is something that I was speaking to you about. Yeah, yeah. Again, uh, yeah, we should talk about it again. We like discussing football. But my point is, overall is I think that shouldn't be his concern. He should be able to play on the flanks, or play centrally, drop deep to support the play. He's That's capable cool. of doing it's that. It's not his profile, though. It's not his profile, though. Cause I, I know well, he's he good on the ball. He can adapt to it. That's my when, point. When he, when, he, when, he, when, he was, when he was playing for the youth team, he was used as a wide player as well. As a striker. And which means, a which, yeah, which gives him, which, which means he, he's well aware how to, how to execute his role even when he's on the flanks. So that's why I'm saying it's not going to be a problem. Yeah, and, and plus, uh, and wide, players being wide doesn't mean that they're going to score from wide. They come central as well to score because the goal, the goal is not wide. So I, I guess yeah. in that sense, I mean, it, 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 it limits predictability because if you have, if you have Broha in the center, people are going to be like, okay, let's just mark him. But when you have a Sterling who you know can drift from left to right, then in the center, and then Broha will come left and into the center, and then you, you only have Pulisic to go central as well to, to make a false nine system. And that's what I'm seeing. When you're with a Broha, Broha allows you to still play a false nine system because he can play wide in contrast to a, a Lukaku who you know is a, he's a target man, he's a center forward. So he has to play in the central position. So I, I think in that sense, the, the difference between these two players is that when you have a Broha who, who over the years, even in the youth team, was playing wide as well, it, it gives him uh, more versatility. It allows him to, to still play games, even if it's not as that um, quote-unquote center forward. So I think, I'm, I mean, yeah, I don't like it because I think he's better centrally. But, I mean, I mean that's what Tuko does. Tuko is going for the fluid, um, unpredictable 
from three where where defenders don't know who to mark because at any moment any player can go central yeah, but you're, that, you're left. But so that, I, that I'm not really think it's a problem. If if, if you work toe, I'm pretty sure nobody will be complaining. But because yeah. he has to work toe, it's gonna there's gonna be complaints about it. But, yeah, but I, but I that, understand what the plan was. Right, fluidity only works if the guys in midfield can support that. You can yeah. you can have all the movement you want between the three guys if the ball is not released fast enough for midfield. It's almost pointless. You might as well just play with a, a target man. At least then we have a focus. We have a focal point. Yeah, yeah we are pro- a big issue is uh, we have to go back again to that midfield. Because if you know when there's a lot of movement, fair enough. If you have a, a Fabregas or anyone that can pick up a ball, if there's a lot of movement, then fair it will work. But if you just have uh, someone that you get a ball sideways, slow the games, bring the tempo down. You might just keep a fixed form three, you, then it's me. Yeah, do, 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 you, do you think Costa would have done don't would have done as good as he did if, if we didn't have Fabregas or somebody no. in that midfield that could have could have no him? he wouldn't have. Exactly. So, so the, the, but, but the assist his assist didn't come just from Fabregas, but mainly no, from no, Fabregas. No, I was I was saying that um somebody you know like those overlapping passes. I mean, yeah, I mean Hazard created for him as well, Pedro William. I, I'm not I'm not I excusing that. But I'm saying that those like when he's when he's when for example we we've heard in the past where you know when Fabregas is uh, is on the bench he'd go and say bring on Fabregas bring on Fabregas and especially when he needs a goal and he has a score I know Fabregas will do all as much as he can to to get out to to get um something for him because they had that connection and they had that friendship but I mean I I I woke Kukurella, man I, I had to laugh um when he said um um when if you can catch up to him the ball has already reached this it's it's, it's um, this destination it, that made me laugh because because Kukurola, Kukurola's name in itself means perfection and and trustworthy. So it, it, Kukurea, it's, let me correct you today. Yeah, Kukurea, yeah, Kukurea. <laughs> but well, that's by yeah. the way. Again, if you're watching, uh, 41 I'm, people I'm, watching, I'm, 78 I'm likes. Him, I would give I would give him a uh, a seven because he played 25 minutes. He look he look way better than what we're doing. He had fast passing the. He was making passes to Kante. Kante struggled to control one, I think. Sterling was mm. happy because Sterling, Sterling got the ball from him like four times, and then he made a cross. And he could, and if the pass was a bit later, I think I think Sterling tapped it into the back of the net. That that was a delicious cross, man. Yeah, it was, I loved it, was, it. It was quick, better than Alonso's crosses. Yeah, and it was on the carpet. There's space to it, so. That the, 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 that is the attacker doesn't need so much power. All you need is you know a controlled shot. Just you you set up your leg, you know, direct the ball to where you want it to go because already there's pace to it, and that way you won't even miss it. And he Stalin, Stalin did quite well. He was just unlucky, you know. The I think was it the keeper? The keeper saved it, right? No, no, the block. It was, it was blocked. blocked by, yeah. Um, so again, was it? I think it was blocked by Patterson, or or was it Holgi? I don't remember. No, it was Mikelenko. Yeah. Mikelenko. And, and uh, in life, no limit says, Coach, we signed Stalin because of what he did from the wings, not as a striker. Uh, I wouldn't say that. None of us know. I, I think Tuko is looking for, for fluidity overall, which means that Stalin doesn't have to stay centrally. He can drift Actually, wide to the left, to the right, drop deep. We'll see, we saw that against Udine. Yeah. We Actually, saw that against Udine. So that's why I'm... I'm, I'm if. If a Breuer really wants a, a, a permanent place in the team, he has to show that he's able to drift wide, uh, left, right, drop deep, support the play. It depends. On, just don't. Sometimes you need to overload in some cases, but sometimes you just need to switch to where the other person was if they come to where you are. Those things that takes time to perfect. And these, you can say, some of them started playing together recently. So you go ahead. Uh, you're rating a, a Rodrigo. Yeah, I was just saying one thing about Sterling. Sterling, actually, if you think about it, he will be a a playmaker. Mm. Sterling is a playmaker now. He's he, he, I don't, he think the reason we got him is because we sold him that he's gonna be the focal point of our, when I mean focal point, I don't mean as a number nine, but as the person who's gonna touch the ball the most in attack and who's gonna create things for us. I think that's why he's gonna have a free role. So don't expect Sterling to be. A left wing or right wing or no, he's gonna be a player that will play just like whatever, whatever he will be, and everyone else around him have to sort of like get to his, his uh, wavelength. And for mm. Korea, you can see he's a he's a he's a, like he's a Man City player, it's a typical Pep player. I don't know why they didn't sign him. 
that because he's an unbelievable sign. They weren't willing. They weren't willing to pay the asking price. They they, they should have. Like, and we yeah, ended up paying more. We end up playing more, and because we value him more, and I think exactly. the player himself, no, the moment we, 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 he, he probably the moment he heard that we're willing to pay the asking price, yeah. Sorry, we had to compensate for Levi Cole going on a loan yeah. to Brighton on a permanent. Remember, they wanted him on a permanent, and and we wanted yeah. a buyback clause of forty five million. So 40, 45 million. So yeah. I think in that sense we have to compensate and add um 2.5 more because it was initially supposed to be 50 and we had to be ended up going to 65. So we compensated for it because we have to pay um yeah. a, a bit of his wages as well. Um um Levi Coel. So I think now you can see you, you can see uh, if you have uh, a Kukurel type player, someone that, that knows that that knows the craft and knows how to play ball in midfield, that's what we're crying now. You, you take yeah. a, you take that that the, the the characteristics that we saw from Kukurea, put that in midfield, replace that with Jorginho, replace it with I don't know. You play that in midfield. Are we cooking this season? That's why maybe Frankie De Jong, if if he goes through, he will he will he will help us with that. So we need we need we need fast. We need moving the ball, boom boom, move the ball quickly. And I was in. Yeah, I, I think I think the that. slow in transition is still you know is something that still happens. Uh, yeah, is the biggest issue. And, think, and uh, it's on midfield. It's a default mode. And mm -hmm. that's, that's that, will a, yeah. only, that will only change with the personnel. It's like you can't teach an old dog no tricks. We're always going to refer back to slow the ball down, pass it, pass it back. Look at Tewa, for example. His first instinct is, oh, go back to my center back. No, can you try? Drive it. Just drive the ball forward. Break the line. Because we... we we only only our centre backs break the line, which is is ridiculous sometimes when you look at this. So uh, yeah, so rating. Uh, sorry, I'll yeah, eight is eight is good. Yeah, yeah, I think everybody agrees. MCIG says uh, our midfield is dead. We need an option to progress the ball down, down the, the middle yeah. in as quick as possible. Otherwise, yeah. even Raheem Sterling will still struggle. Another issue, I think, who was that that talked about Mount trying to take a shot when he shouldn't have? Yeah, Another yeah, issue we have that we must solve, then even if we don't, Raheem Sterling, it will add to Raheem Sterling's uh, issues, is this, uh, again, uh, we play as a unit until we get to the final third. Everybody wants to be the goal scorer, not minding, not uh, trying to look uh, for the better positioned player to get the ball to them so they don't have too much to do to finish. Uh, and maybe that would change over time. And that's probably, maybe Tuchel is actually calling for the club to get in new players out. Uh, uh, people say we well, didn't uh, need the young. We need the young, absolutely. Ty, you were saying something. I'm saying, but but based on you saying, he said the defense is more um, important than the the midfield, and I think it's fifty fifty. I I don't think the the one is more important than the other because we we have an aging midfield. Um, Kante and Georgina are in your thirties. This conversation is the only one that's under thirty. Obviously, that 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 is a guarantee starter. I mean, we, we still have uh, Ruben of the Sheik all the way here, and that there's a move still possible for him. Um, Gallagher is going to play in the midfield, unfortunately, despite me not wanting that to happen. And he's what he's twenty. He's he's still young, so I, I, I mean that's the only other option we have. But as a as a player that in this system, I don't. I'm not sure what Gallagher is a midfielder, but we'll have to see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens today. Again, we're approaching the end of the show. We have uh, 47 people watching and we have 78 likes. If you haven't, please do take a second to like the video and also subscribe at the channel if you haven't. Thank you. Thank you so much for all the brilliant support. Again, in a few days, I still believe we will hit 6,000 subscribers. We're at 5,343. Again, and it would just uh, um, uh, reach 5,000 the other, the other day. So we're approaching 6,000. And I know that will happen. Version conversation was missed. Yep. And again, uh, just Viola, how you spell was, was it spelled W A S? It's not W A A. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You guys know what I did there. <laughs> was that what? MCIG says, look at how we progress the ball in our own half. Our players yes. are staying, uh, staying put. Yep. That's the truth. Waiting for the ball, not making moves forward. To even help, you know, the, 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 the create a more progressive passing lanes with the person with the ball. So that makes a perfect sense. Here it says, uh, we definitely need Frankie the Young. We do need him. He's an upgrade uh, to Chichingo. And I'm, I'm, 
Here I'm real serious about getting him again with the young. We switch it to four three three. Maybe no, you, he, I think won. no, we won. And uh, maybe we're not. There's no way to tell oh, again. Uh, he's, that's the reason he's not fitting in a Barcelona. He can't play as a long DM. He, he, he can't. He can't do that. Mm -hmm. uh, midfield, uh, in life, no, let me say, I mean, a midfield is dire, it seriously lacks a creativity. That's one of the biggest issues from our midfield. And you can say that started happening since the days uh, of uh, Sari, maybe. Uh, the numbers of our midfield hasn't been something, you know, to write home about. It, it's been uh, even goals, the, 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 uh, the, the, the year Jachin who won the highest goal scorer, it was all from the spot. One and it's shameful. The assist numbers are abysmal. Go ahead. One nil to Brighton. Oh, sorry if you're recording the game. I don't want to spoil it. No, I'm not. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not recording it. I, I I could be looking at it on one of the screens here if I want to. I just want to be concentrated. We'll be rounding up soon, and I'll go watch it. Uh, says I am having a, a roast dinner today. I am Ooh. so happy. Wow. Ooh. So you wow. think Chelsea can't play like this? Oh, he's off yeah, the maybe I should change <laughs> change the name of that new show to something roast, but we'll talk about it. Uh, again, uh, uh, just Viola is laughing at herself. Nice to see the manager said it. We lacked a movement uh, and off the ball. Like, that has always been a big issue for me. That's why we're not able to comfortably play out, out of the back because when a player has the ball, the other players don't make the roles to create or, or packing, uh, passing lanes for them or make the passing lanes dynamic. Uh, yeah. The young can be a holding six. Uh, yes, he can. He can. Uh, yeah, he can also play as a number uh, as, as a uh, uh, as a centre back. So he's a versatile player. Uh, Chukwemeka will be a massive boost. To, yeah, we forgot about him. I think so. I think we can We didn't pay twenty million just for him to come and not be part of the team. But I think it will be gradual. I uh, says uh, again. I, I like that. I says, uh, "No way, mind you." Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, but we have a lot of uh, flexibility yeah, at the back, and if RSC is playing right wing back, we have a lot of uh, flexibility. Yeah, that's the truth. We add the forward and Mount can play in the middle. So, anybody watching? Uh, any other player would yeah, you want actually, us to actually, rate? Actually, actually, Ruben played better in the few minutes that he was on the pitch. He played better than Rich James in the right wing back position. Yeah, because see, uh, maybe he understand watch. how how Tuko wants that role. Yes, I think he's uh, the, the application of that role. Sure. Yeah, are you sure? I think so. Honestly, I think I think so as well. I think he's actually at least I think we, uh, what's his name, Ruben. Yeah, I think he understand that for me to get into this team, this is probably the best. My, the best way to, in midfield and, it, and it's a hybrid role it's, it's not like game. yeah it's a hybrid role he's a midfielder he's on the flanks again he, he's enjoyed playing there every time he played yeah. there but that's it right away who else are we gonna rate uh so what's came on oh God, who, lots this. of sick oh, right Breuer, Breuer, Breuer. oh Breuer, uh for who he, uh, he came in for kai kai yes yes so let's uh, uh you start rodrigo yeah Breuer was uh he did in a few, in a like fifteen minutes, he had he was on the pitch. He did, he did better than Kai. That's that's telling. Uh, you, can, you can tell, you can just tell the the the, the way the guy is. He's strong for for such a young age. He's very strong and he's ve he's very very fast as well. He's positive in his run. So I would give him. He didn't touch the ball enough for me to rate him highly. So I don't know. I can't rate him. I think non applicable. <laughs> after seeing all mm. this because he didn't touch the ball enough to, to be in the game but you can say you can just the, he passed the eye test that's what I have to say he passed the eye test how he about the tie? Test, but he passed the ability test uh, how about the tie? I need to see him in more games I need to see him in, in long yeah. games yeah, yeah. I, I, would get, I, would, I would I have to give him like a, a, a six I was he, he didn't really do much but I don't know maybe it's because he was white I mean he, he did he did um turn on um, Patterson I think he was bringing us the right wing back yeah um, he Patterson, was, yeah. did some spin and I got past him so that, that, I like the little trickery that he did but I thought him a six. he didn't really do much because he didn't really have much to do because the part he didn't really get the ball much mm. uh so you read him what Six. Yeah, I, I I think he did well. That was a run he made on the flanks. I thought he'd lost the ball, but he got it and he ran uh, yeah. beyond other player. 
Uh, again, uh, if you're watching, let us know how would you rate our, our bro heart. Let us know quickly, quickly, quickly. We know we're waiting for it. And if you want to try to pronounce it the way I wrote it, uh, call, try saying his name. Don't don't quickly run to camps. It's a oh, that, that 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 is so ironic. <laughs> yeah, it's Chuku Emeka. Like, pronounce like, the A as A Chuku Emeka. Pronounce it like that, it will help you. Chuku Emeka, that's fine. Kani, Kans. Don't go to Kans. Just why, why do you guys like always jump into the, the one that sounds English? <laughs> Quickly. Try, try saying his name. What, what you see, I'm going to call him Corny. Corny. <laughs> mm, if you want to, again, I think we've come to the natural end of the show. If you want to, anybody in the chat, if you want to, uh, anybody else we should rate? You're not going to oh, repeat right? played, played longer, didn't it? Uh, and Pulisic, who did he change? Mount. Pulisic came on for Mount. Okay, how would you rate uh, Pulisic? Pulisic, I will give him a five. Um, yes, he did better than Mount. I, I feel like maybe he should have started then if Mount was going to be that poor. Yeah. He did feel nice runs. Yeah, won a few fouls in the end of the game. That was vital for us. To uh, to slow down the game, so yeah, I give him a five. He's, yeah, you, you give him a five. Okay, yeah. how about your tie? Five. Five for pool. MCI IG says five. I think a five is is good. It's good for him. Any anybody else we should rate? Mm, what else came on? I think that's it. Uh, Gallic, Gallic didn't play long enough. Did we rate Loftus Cheek? Did we rate him? Oh yeah, Loftus Cheek. No, Loftus Cheek. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who, did he re who did he? Who did replace? James. Uh, no, so, no, no, no. You replace. Oh, who did Loftus Cheek? No, 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 no. It, it's wrong. It's wrong. Uh, I think Kukurola came on for Kula Bali, and and Ruben Loftus Cheek came on for Chile. I think. Yeah, yeah but we... let's 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 rate oh, them at the position. Them. They will place them at the position they played. It doesn't yeah. matter who they who they replaced. Yeah. Into centre back here. Yeah. Who's so, going to take off then? Take all right. Use cooler body then, because th that's what I'm saying. The 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 whole thing um is going to be confusing. No, right? we're not we're not putting them uh, again. Not like for like. We just yeah, so when did uh, so last use, use cooler body? Use cooler body. Cooler body came off. Did he play in that position? Where did he play when he came in? No, oh, that's what I'm seeing. James was playing as a right centre back, and Aspi was playing as a left centre back. Yeah, and yeah. where well, they yeah. lost the chick player at that confusing. point, right wing back, right wing back, right wing back, right? Yeah. So, which is right. just so place him here. Use it on the James that use it on the James. Yeah, that's where I'm going. So, how would you rate him, Ty? Uh, yeah, he was, he was, um, meh. I'd probably give him a five as well. How about you, Rodrigo? And if you're on the chat, let us know how you rate uh, uh lost the chick. I'm surprised the the chat actually put gave James a six because Ruben for the few minutes he was on the pitch he was better than than James, but any because James is a six I can't give him a seven so I give him a five as well, even though it was better just because yeah and, and I and I gave James a, a four so that's why I can say yeah. five <laughs> yeah he was definitely better than James yeah yeah so you give him a what a five. A five. So if you're in the chat, let us know how would you rate a Lube and Loftus Cheek. Michael Sola said, everything cannot come in from the manager. Some players have to work. If Cho, as a winger, cannot pass a defender, so where, where, whereas Dembele, Rafinha do that so easily, do we have to blame TT? I don't blame TT uh, again, but again, again, I think we're, we're, we're jumping ahead of even the player. And we're I can looking understand why he wanted Rafina if he if he was sure he wanted him as a right wing back because Rafina is not scared to go past players. No. But uh, it would make mm. sense because other than the fact that he can go past players, you, you're limiting his attacking side because he, as a right wing back, he's not going to get the opportunity to score goals as much as he wants to. I mean, mm. yeah, MCIG he, thinks. Uh, uh, the rating for for Kante was too high. Yeah, uh, it says uh, y'all on on the American man. That's not cool. Five means poor. He, he had more touches than Havertz in, <laughs> in that fifteen minutes. Um, right. I think uh, I think again, Pulisic did. did he he looked uh, like he was uh, fully fit. He was. He looked like he ran well. 
overall, uh, but I think five, he deserve. I think, honestly, most players in the team deserve the five. It's just that uh, some of them did quite well. The defenders, especially, uh, uh, they switched positions, she says, uh, uh, three for who? James, uh, three. <laughs> MCIG is going bananas. Can't say four. What happened, Ty? 2 0. 2 0, Brighton. Yeah. Ten Hang, I'm disappointed. At least, at least we can we can console ourselves with that. Broya yeah. played well too. At least six. Uh, he got six. Yep. Let me say, uh, Chile uh, three. <laughs> I, I, I thought people about Brighton. He's the best. Uh, RLC a uh, seven for you again. Uh, RSC, everybody in the chat. Ty, how how did you rate RSC? You said five. Yeah, I already said I already said five. Five for RSC and you, Rodrigo. Five as well. Yeah. Uh, five as well. Okay, let me see. Um, okay, we... MCIG Kante for <laughs> did you... he watched the game. Even uh, Raheem, to my surprise, uh, surprisingly to me, uh, Fahim, my brother and friend, uh, uh, was asking to to take off Kante. And I was I asked him in the group chat to take off who? Kante, as bad as he was yesterday, was one of the best in the midfield. It was the reason why Leicester didn't outrun us. Uh, but that's, by the way, anyway, if you're watching, let us know what your rating for Ruben loves to see. I want to know. I thought that Tuku playing Ruben at right wing back was his way of asking for a new signing, but Ruben has been, uh, that's not too bad. That, no, he likes playing there because he's, he it's executes it. Uh, the way he wants, he enjoys it. Yeah, he plays more like a midfielder. There, that's, that's yeah. just the truth. Uh, let us know your rating for. Let me just put a poll for Ruben loves to shake. Yeah. Then we have to. Gallagher came in, right? Yeah, but Gallagher, you can't really rate him for two minutes. Okay, so we should forget about him. Yeah. It's about time we start calling Mouth out over his games. Um, uh, 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 no, he hasn't been that bad in all other games. I think you just pissed this, at him. Yeah, 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 I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. No, that. I'm not gonna do that. Pulisic offered more than him when he came on. That's the truth. Okay. Uh, again, the problem is I have with Pulisic is his consist lack of consistency. That's the truth. MCMG said, Coach, because Chris Hikino, okay, he's having a conversation with somebody in the chat. I agree with taking off uh, Kante. He wasn't bad, but he was tired. That's just the truth. Uh, again, Ruben definitely gave us balance exactly. and run. Had a few crosses in. Again, uh. Let me ask the chat so we can round off with that one. Uh, so, uh, because it's hard to pick up what they're saying, it's everywhere. So, but a poll will help solve that one. What do you say, Rodrigo? What can we play like Brighton? Seriously, I, Coach, I told you, Brighton is the best football. Because they team. have the players who move it through. I'm looking it's at the them, manager. Jesus like, Christ. The manager, too. They have that the personnel that can help Harry the manager Potter. implement. Yeah, Ty is good. Ty, go ahead with that. I'm seeing Harry Potter. I mean, he's Harry Potter. His name is Graham Potter, but I call him Harry Potter. <laughs> Graham, Graham Potter. Graham next. is good. He's majestic, an excellent manager, majestic. actually. It's, it's majestic, man. Oh. oh the, 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 the way they're using their heads to, to pass the ball and they're touching the ball. No, and, they, and they're moving the ball with fluidity, quick moving. Great, yo. Uh, God, yeah. He, all yeah, all, all he needs is the players <laughs> to do that. I think it's the age of our players, I think, in midfield. They probably don't want to, they probably don't have the legs to do all the running. He's... Oh, man. So, uh, both of you read uh, Lost to Chick, what and what? A six? Five. Five. Cinco. 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 Okay, six for you. So, I'd give him a six. Let, let, let's see what the chat thinks. And uh, quickly, I uh, want to do something here. Okay, we have. Oh, okay. Oh, my. Uh, Leicester City are winning. One nil. Yee. Yeah, one and, nil. Forty third uh, minutes. It. I was watching that game. I watched that second half because I was, I was, I had an eye on that. And for fun, I'm, no, yeah, it was decent. Nothing, nothing to, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Rodrigo, your final thought on on the game. What do you think? Yeah, like I said, I think from all the teams now I've watched, and I'm watching the games even now from all the teams that that played in this week one, Chelsea and Nottingham Forest don't didn't impress me. And not, yet, right. not yet, not yet. We're still seeing games going on. It's, yeah. uh, Man United are losing zero two at Man, home. Man United don't look impressive either. So, but uh, yeah, f I think for us, we obviously we're not in, we 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 not here to talk about these other clubs. For us, there's, there, there are situ why we in this situation. Bobby kept saying that conditioning. Yes, I agree with him. Conditioning is not there. The players don't look fit. 
you could see in the first half. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe the first, maybe there was a there was a time in a, maybe for 10, 10 to fifteen minutes we looked good in our counter pressing and winning the ball quickly. But as the game went on, you can tell fitness wasn't there, so the players weren't making that extra run, that extra. Because sometimes you know when you're especially in our position, when you play in a front three, you're making you're making these um, exact sacrificial run where you know you're not gonna get the ball. But you just have to sprint, and then it gets frustrating. So the players, when you're not physically there, you stop doing those extra runs, the extra fake runs. To to even though you know you're not gonna get the ball. Same thing as a wing back, and it's quite telling that our games suffer when our wing backs don't play well. And you could see that from yesterday, even from the rating. I don't know the panel, mm -hmm. the, the, the chat gave <laughs> high rating, but you can see when our wing backs don't make the those fake runs just they know they're not gonna get the ball but they just need to run up and down and James doing the same thing that limit to attack that's what affected us yesterday in when you look it's, it's a fitness issue I don't think it's a quality issue but the market is still open and I'm sure in a, in more in the future streams we'll talk more about the, the young and these other signings that we might make to improve the team I am I'm I'm a bit worried about the way we play. Uh, I, when I watch Brighton, I watch these other teams, Newcastle. Like, come on, we better than these teams. We can surely play better football. I'm sure it'll happen with my uh, side. Yeah, I think we will improve. Go ahead, we'll Rodrigo. Uh, we'll mm -hmm. But yeah, I wasn't impressed at all. Yeah, Ty, how about you? Your final thoughts? Yeah, well, I mean, like like I said, it, 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 we we needed the win. Um, having won there in five years, it, it was it was important to get a win. I mean, we start off the season yet again with three points, so that that's that's a positive. Um, three years in the running, so I mean, it, it's it, it's it's good. And I mean, you know, it, it's like I was saying, you know, with the preseason games and people saying it's just preseason. We 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 can't just say it's just preseason because we're not playing eight games. We were we were going around doing making videos about <laughs> at, at the at the Dodgers Stadium, baseball and things like that. And that, and that really upset me because we shouldn't be, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, the human beings. But at the same time, considering the way that the team was so depleted, you, you need to be focusing on training and, and everything else can come after. But I mean, you know, it's the beginning of the season. You know, not everybody's going to look um as good at the beginning. And some teams had more games than us in terms of um preparation. So, but I mean, it, it was it was it was not entertaining game, but you know, sometimes you have to win these games one 0 That's how yeah. teams that we try to do. They, they they play poor, but they get the game. They the the, the game winner, and that's how they win games. And Ty, quickly, quickly, just quickly, tell us how you rate before you round off. I know you. I know you're not done yet. Look at the screen. Somebody wants a rating for Thomas Tuchel. <laughs> with we will end it with that. Uh, just quickly, when you're done, rate Tuchel, and I'll have Rodrigo rate Tuchel. Um, I, I would give Thomas Tuchel uh, a five out of ten. I think he got it partially right and he got some of it wrong, but I mean, it, it is what it is. He's 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 gonna always make he's gonna always make mistakes sometimes. So if we have to be prepared for that, and I mean, all the top managers do that. Pep does it. Klopp does it. I mean, um, even even Ten Hag does it. So I guess in that sense, we just have to see what happens. How about you, Rodrigo? You go ahead. Yeah. Tuko, I'm a biggest Tuko fan. Uh, I like his when he, when he talk about football. I, I like his philosophy. But yesterday game wasn't good. I know he admitted it himself as well. He admitted it. Yeah, yeah. The, he was critical the performance, so it wasn't he wasn't shying away. So I give him a five. I give him a five. Yeah. I give him a five. For for at least what one thing I, I liked about yesterday is that game. Last last season, we draw in that game. It, it, it's guaranteed we draw in that game. There's no way we're coming away with a one 0 win. So that's that's at least that was good. At least it shows like we were able to see other game. And I like one thing I like as well. Maybe you guys didn't actually talk about it. Is our time wasting? Remember, I think I was in this stream because you were saying the Madrid players, the way they go on the floor, holding the knees, holding the legs. Yesterday was that. I loved it. I loved it. Like when Rich James, <laughs> instead of throwing the ball in, he will just throw the ball back to Aspi and then wasting time. That's good. I mean, we need, to, we can't be too nice sometimes. So that was good. I enjoyed that aspect 
Oh, time wasting. That tells you how crap the game was. That I'm actually celebrating time wasting. <laughs> Yeah, again, okay. thank you very much, guys. Hopefully, we'll see a much better performance. And overall, the chat is written. The ball, Sorry? Fala looks comfortable on the ball. He kept pressuring him, and he was able to make the passes. I mean, he he he, he did. He had a pre-assist for the goal. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> this chant is, very, is a very funny one with some rhymes. Again, I've... I'm not going to try to read that one. But I want to say thank you to everybody on the panel. Again, uh, be sure to go check out Ty Talk's YouTube uh, channel. Uh, uh, subscribe. Let him know I sent you great content. And you specifically want to watch the video that explains uh, the anti-Glazers clause on the sale of the club to Todd Bali uh, from uh, Roman Abramovich. I think you will love it. It's about 2,000 plus uh, views right now. You need to watch it yourself. And be sure to subscribe. Uh, also, follow him on Twitter. Follow it's Rodrigo it's Rogers on Twitter. You will see the same R. And also follow Chelsea Perspective on Twitter. I cannot thank you enough. Thank you to everybody. Uh, thank you to the Queen of the House uh, for finding time uh, uh, to join us here and helping keep the house clean. Thank you to Liam Lane, who was here. Thank you for Kim So for finding the time to join us. I thank you to Gihanga, David, everyone else. Thank you to Coach Chris. Thank you to MCIG. Uh, and again, if I did not say your name, apologies. I'm only human. Uh, Ty, you wanted to say something? Yeah, I was saying I was saying something to add what you were you were saying. I was saying a road to 300, but it doesn't matter now. Yeah, but road to 300, it does matter. So if you haven't, go check out Ty Talks CFC. Be sure to subscribe to his channel again. Thank you very much. Uh, it was a rough start today, but we still made it. And again, it's still a brilliant show, no matter how we see it. And if you coach, haven't, take coach. a second to like the video. Yeah. Oh, one thing as well, we need to give credit to Tuko signings. All the signings that is, is made uh, in this season have actually improved the team. So big. Yeah, up they team. have. And, uh, it, and it was uh, uh, they, they've been strategic. Yeah, very strategic. That's very good. We need to recognize the the good one we see. Yeah, yeah. Give the man credit. Give Todd Bowley credit. I think he's done well. So with that, thank you guys. See you later in the day if there's a chance. I'd launch the. Uh, Blue Convo, or maybe another name, uh, uh, we'll, we'll find out. Uh, so, yeah, again, or see you during the Blue Morning Show tomorrow. Thank you all. God bless us all, and cheers. Cheers.